Some, uh, some night, perhaps? What's the matter? So yeah, I told you we're going right. <laughs> Pick up this rock and then press Y to push this lantern over to the other side where we will get this ladder. So yeah, I mean, how, how are you guys enjoying the game so far? Some good puzzles, some good stealth action, some good action, some good stealth action, some good stealth sequences, some good action in the game. You know, I found it very, I found it really good how there was just this whole mixture of things mixed with this raw emotion. With the story, so far, everything is tip-top. But anyway, check a couple of items on the table and on the right-hand side there before going down the ladder and climbing up with Mellow. Mellow Vision, Melon, Melon Head, whatever you want to call her, whatever your cute nickname is for it. And then once we get up, uh, go directly to the left and again, we'll be just picking up a few more items before heading through the door. Go ahead, turn round, don't go back there, we'll be going through this door, couple of items again on the left, some rock, some salt, pita, or some alcohol, and now we need to push this bridge down right here, so go ahead, spam the crap out of that Y button, use your strength, use your thumb strength, which is obviously stronger than Amicia and Melia, and now we can open up this locked door and progress. So then head down and this now really is the point of the story where we will be using quite a lot of our um, Ignifer potion to, I mean there's going to be a lot of points now throughout the game where there's going to just be a lot of things to light up, um, but especially puzzle wise, so it's it, like I said you should be used to it by now anyway but once it's lit up, just go ahead, push that out. And there will be one point in the game which I won't actually spoil for you, so I'm not even going to bother telling you because there's no point. <laughs> so we'll just come to that a bit later. But anyway, um, go ahead, move back across the bridge, and then head down the ladder, and you should be good to go. I, I think I say should be good to go about 638 times through the video, so maybe I'll, um, maybe I'll say something else now. Maybe I'll try something else. Yeah, good idea. Another door. Maybe it's the right one. I just hope there are no rats behind it. Melly, need a little help here. On my way. Come on! I'm starting to get fed up of all these doors. <sighs> Whoa. It really exists. Chateau d'Ambroche. It's amazing. I had a moment of doubt, but that... That's the sort of alchemist legend I like. Come on, let's take a closer look. So yeah, that was the castle that we need to get to, but before heading straight on, just turn directly to your left. There's going to be a locked door up here, which we need to open with Mellow Vision. So go ahead, tell her to do that. Uh, there's nothing else of interest here, but there will be another collectible inside this hut. So okay. let's wait. Come on, come on, hun, move. Thanks. So yeah, straight ahead of you, we've got another gift. Talk about. <clears throat> it doesn't smell very good. A good remedy. So now we should have seven out of eleven gifts, and we should have twenty-five out of the fifty collectibles to go, so go ahead, get get some more Devoranthus, Devil's Rant this, whatever the piss in Elledge called, craft a couple more ammos, and then to your left, we can go straight on. Now, in terms of crafting ammos, even if you die and go to a recent checkpoint, that ammo still counts, so you can die a hundred times, craft the same ammo that you did, and you'll get the achievement for that. So, at this point, as you've just seen, as soon as the lightning strikes, the rats go in and then you are free to run so I think this is the last bit of this chapter the last bit of challenge that we've got to do so don't run yet Melly was in my pissing way make sure you've got enough Ignifer obviously always keep making sure you've got enough ammo even if it's just a couple for now just wait until the beautiful rats come out <laughs> beautiful my ass go soon as that lightning strikes go and make sure then to 
get close enough, get the Eganfan, you've got this little bit of safety zone here. Get some more collectibles on the left-hand side. Uh, items on the left-hand side, even. And as soon as the thunder hits again, bam, go. Run! Run, run as fast as you can. You cannot catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Or something or other. <laughs> now we are basically good to go. Challenge is over. Incredible. That tower over there. It's the living quarters. It must be several centuries old. It looks like it's dry. So the challenging isn't over. We are not quite yet done. So we need to get Melly to open this door once again. And by the way, if you've never heard or never thought where the term breeding like rats come from, oh. now this is where it probably came from, the plague. So many rats that they must, must be horny 24-7. Which, hey, pff, I mean, good for them. I couldn't do it. But um, anyway, go to the left. Ah, just what am I on about? Go to the left. We've got some Lucas will sort us out with some Ignifer right there. So what we'll need to do now... I mean, there's rats all over this courtyard. As you can see, this is going to be our home for just a little bit. So once you stop yapping, go ahead and just push this brazier over to the ladder. But good to see Amicia with a good sense of humour at this point. That's a good first step. I'll let you go first. Rats are your thing. Thanks a lot. We're going to be doing quite a bit of walking now, so grab a stick on your left, get some fire on that bad boy, and then go for a little, a, a nice little stroll through the castle courtyards, where you could potentially get eaten, or you could potentially get accidentally burned to death and singed to death. So, ah, you know, all all happy moments in this game apparently so far in case you haven't noticed so yep light that up go up the ladder and now th this will happen ooh, a couple of times throughout the game where we've got to sort of do this puzzle trick to get the other the other guys and gals across so I, I mean it's all easy enough anyway but just rotate your controller or just push it to the left or the right <laughs> I don't even know what my left, right, ups and downs are anymore. Congratulations. That should be fine though, because uh, Melly would be able to run with it. Look at them, swarming like nobles at the king's court. But it's our Hambo spambo that Y button once again. That'll push this little bit of bridge down for us, which will help another couple of items on the floor to pick up. Make sure to pick up what you can, and then next with this one, get the brazier. <laughs> well, you might want to light it up first, which would be a good idea. <laughs> Otherwise, that'll just be pointless, and all of that will be for nothing. So Melly will be doing this this time, and we'll be going for a walk to the other end. Of course, like we've done a few times, just stay within the light. Obviously, you'll have to tell Melly to do it because she doesn't have her own brain. It could do it. A bit of grease. <laughs> Would you rather be down here? I'm fine. I'm just warming up. I'm at the end. So then, this is as far as the brazier goes. So we will need to light up a few braziers ourselves. But we've only got one ignifer left. So go ahead, craft some up right there. Again, you should. If you've been following the video so far, you should have more than enough um, items to make it. As I dodged absolutely nothing there. Uh, just go ahead, go into the next light. You should be fine. No rats will get you at this point. Get the ignifer. Get the next. Brazier to light up for us, and now we can go ahead and move over there. Climb up this little bit of wall, and just up to the left of us, as you see directly in front of us, we've got some alcohol on the right, and we've got some more fabric and some sulfur. And then grab some rocks on the right, and push this to the other end. So yeah, it's all... I mean, this, this part of the puzzle of the castle courtyard, it's all pretty much straightforward. 
it's not too bad. Um, but again, there is another point a little bit later on the game where it can be a tiny bit more complex, but it's, you know, it's not too bad. Like, the game hasn't been too bad for the puzzles and things so far. So then we finally managed to reach Melly once again. We're almost done with this bit of the chapter now. Oh, well, in fact, we're almost done with the entire chapter now. So go ahead, jump up here. Have a look for any items on the floor. I don't think there's any here, so just go ahead and push this little bit of bri uh, bridge down. Ham the spam the Y button once more. Now, you can either go left or right, but what we're actually going to do is go directly behind us from where we were just a minute. So we need to go back to the other end. And Melly's gonna sort us out with Grandpa's. that one. I'll cover you with this one. All right, I'm going down. Easy so far, right? No one's dead. Everyone's having a good time. Everyone's really getting eaten by rats and stuff. It's just a normal day in my hometown, anyway. I'll tell you that much for free. <laughs> I'm just joking. I love them all. Um, right, all the rats will be dead here. So grab these couple of items on the right. Then get your rigging for out. Smash out that. Unlit brazier over there. And you again, you should be good. Uh, grab a stick from just back there and light it up once more. And uh, just walk to the other end and light the other unlit brazier. It's, I mean, it's all very self-explanatory to be honest. But uh, you know, I know you, I know you gorgeous people love my sexy voice, so I gotta keep it going. So then, up the ladder we go now, and uh, what we'll be doing is, there's a couple of items just on the left, right over here, and then we'll be pushing this lit brazier right here down to the very end again. So now that is done, Melly is still helping us out as well as herself. I mean, obviously, if she wasn't, then she'd be dead by now. So, no rats here. There's all too many lights going on, so they are effed up. Go to where we just were earlier on, if you can remember. We'll be climbing back up the wall. And head to the left, and what we'll be doing is pushing this breeze here to the end now. We did it! We 
push them back? Yes. Come over to the fire and warm up. It's huge. We'll have time to explore tomorrow. And thankfully that was it. Chapter 7 is now done. And now we are on to the first of three very, very short chapters in the game. This one is called Our Home. So there's not much to do in this. There's just a lot of items to find, a few collectibles. But everyone's chilled out and everyone's lovely and having a good time. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So in this room, screw off Hugo. Hugo, just a minute. You know... Items and collectibles are more important than you for the moment. So have a look on the chair. You'll find some fabric. By the fireplace, you're going to get some, a couple more items. Alcohol, more fabric. Um, it's always worth just checking absolutely every nook and cranny in this room that you wake up on. There's a workbench there. We can't upgrade anything yet. Let's just have a look at, like I said, all the tables. Um, in every other little single room. We will be coming back here later on in another chapter where all the items are refreshed <laughs> so that works out well for us grab a cord go in uh you don't need to go into that room just yet but again we will later on you can have a look through there that's just a sort of little bit of story progression have a look on the table there they are some of the collectibles they're the gifts that you've collected so far as well so now we will follow hugo the pogo oh that was just awful and then on the right there is a curiosity collectible. Devouring the sun. I hope it's not a prophecy. So this time then, now we can actually follow Hugo down the stairs, but instead of going straight on here, we'll go directly to the right. We'll be finding one of the tombs for another achievement. Well, I mean, it's the only tomb in the game, but that does unlock us an achievement. Also, in terms of... I know that sometimes it seems quite important and very urgent to follow these characters in case something happens to them, but literally you can just fudge them off for just two seconds while you collect the more important things in a plague-infested France, like curiosities and gifts and getting yourself some achievements we can say something if you'd like sorry to disturb you we don't have any candles but we will leave you in peace and thanks for looking after us come on let's go So when you've gone and got that achievement then, head back up to where you came, so go up to the right and then go into the room that Hugo's going into with Lucas and all you'll be doing, there's a, again a couple of items in that room, but then you'll be grabbing a few items for Lucas himself and just putting them on the table, very easy. Or if you're blind and playing this game, it can be a bit difficult. So, there you are. Sleep well? Not a wink. This laboratory's in bad shape, but it inspired me. I'm on the brink completing the great work. And you, you can help me. Oh, yes, yes. What do we have to do? Amicia, I need the file from the left hand table. Uh, all right. And me, and me. What can I do? We need light for oh, the last step. Uh, that you must go, be it. Go get a candle. I can do that. Here, anything else? Uh, yes. A concentrated laurel sap. It's just behind me. I'll get it. What's a great work? Can I eat it? It is the elixir that will illuminate your path. A beacon for the bearer of the macula. It came to me during the night. Here. Good. So, the angel's tear, the pinnacle of alchemy. The elixir. You... Wow! The great work! Uh, it wasn't supposed to do that. Uh, it doesn't matter, Lucas. Perhaps we uh, should let you rest, right, Hugo? 
Well done, Lucas. You're a sorcerer. Amicia, come on. I'm coming. So thanks for being a little bitch and helping Lucas. I mean, thank you for being a very good assistant and helping Lucas out there. My bad, I get my words mixed up sometimes. Uh, what we'll do now then is head straight to the workbench since we've got a couple of items that we've picked up. And what we'll be doing now is finally upgrading our atty rail for the first time. Not bad. Not bad at all. So already then we're not too far from the end of this chapter, we've got all the items we possibly ca uh, can in the two or three rooms we've been in. Uh, go to the left here though and you will find another collectible and another gift. And that would be 8 out of 11, so we're getting close to the end already on that. Wow. Come on Amicia, let's both do it. Having fun, are you? I'm sure the Inquisition are too. Melly, we thought you'd gone. Come on. We need to talk. What's the matter? This castle is a ruin. Ah. And that's exactly what you need. Whoever built this place really didn't want to be fucked with. Be good and you'll be fine. So, you're going to find Arthur? If I can help, he's my problem. You heard what I heard. Those Inquisition dogs took him to the Bastion. I know where to look. I'll find him. Amicia, look! Listen, with Hugo, it doesn't look easy, but believe me, it's worth it. He will save you. They always end up saving us. Even if, you know, brothers, sometimes you just want to kill them. The symbol is Amicia. I believe you. Anyway, don't leave without saying goodbye. <laughs> As if that was my style. Amicia, please come. Yes, Hugo. What did you find? Down there. It's the drawing. What drawing? So before you go and chat to Hugo and carry on with the story, Go back to where you and Melly were talking, and just behind the barrel, there is another collectible. But I had trouble <laughs> actually panning the camera to get it, for some particularly odd reason. But there is something there, trust me, I'm not just deranged yet. Not quite yet. Manual of the Language of Birds. Poetry, perhaps? So that's everything up on the top, top floor then. So now let's go back to where Hugo was. We're in the room where we woke up. Uh, I don't know where the hell I'm off. Mine, I'm going bush diving for some reason. It's the same symbols. You're right. Alchemist coat of arms, maybe? Have you seen the tree? The tree? Come on, over here. Right then, so just go ahead, follow Hugo into the room that we didn't go into earlier on, but where we found the cord on that table just there. And then, after this cutscene, now if you turn around, you will find a collectible, a flower collectible. But for some reason, what I do first is go to the workbench, upgrade <laughs> some more equipment, and then go back into the room. So if you just stay in the room where Hugo is there, there is a flower collectible. But, you know, we end up getting everything anyway, just in a ass backwards order. But hey, at least we're getting our pouch upgraded again. This should make things a little easier. Also, hilariously, I didn't have a clue where he was. <laughs> he was right in front of me, and I couldn't find him. So, hope you're less blind than I am on this. Oh, it will protect you when you go to the town. Must be powerful stuff. Yes, it's a very good flower. It looks good on you. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Father, mother, <laughs> you'll always be here with us. <laughs> Again, I mean, it's worth doing, but you don't actually have to go down here and say goodbye to Lucas. We can actually just uh, chat with Melly and end the chapter, but... I'm more chaotic than here. Don't worry. We girls know how to handle ourselves. I'm sure you do. Good luck, nonetheless. But, you know, it's always nice to say goodbye, isn't it? Just in case you don't return. Wow, Christ, that was morbid. My bad. At last... All right, come on. Here. And one last thing. See, wasn't that a nice chapter full of no rats trying to get you and none of the Inquisition trying to kill you? It was just a nice, twenty, very nice of them to give you 20 minutes off where you're not trying to die. Anyway, welcome to chapter 9. Immediately, by this tree and by this uh, fallen down log, there is a uh, flower collectible just on the ground there, and that will get you another achievement for finding six flowers called Herbalist, which you should have. If you've been following the video by now, that is what you should have right here. If not, like I said, it's okay. You'll, you'll be able to get um, go through chapter select a bit later on and find out which collectibles you're missing anyway. So don't follow Melly just here, actually, you... You can. Sorry, I'm thinking... I'm thinking of a later on chapter. No. Did you know him? A thief. I used to work with him. He was gifted. So that's the punishment for stealing. Death. I don't want to find Arthur with that kind of caller. Come on, let's go. I'll open this, then I'll go take care of Arthur. All right, so where will I find the university? It's the big building at the other end. You can't miss it. Do you think we'll see each other again? I hope so. You owe me. Shit. That means you're not allowed to die. <laughs> I'll do my best. There you go. Go on. Get going. Good luck. You too. The city folk. They know they'll die if they stay here. But you think they'll leave of their own accord? Come on. Get a move on. We have to get the last ones out. Don't worry. We're almost done. The city's ours. We're going to be able to see that operation. Okay, so we're back to being very, very sneaky. So instead of going left, just turn up to this little bit of stairs here so we can grab another few items for ourselves. And then go ahead, craft some ignifer if you're feeling a bit feeling a bit low, you know. It's that typical sort of more towards the end of the game, you'll end up having full ammo anyway. So you really shouldn't miss out on the achievement for crafting 100 ammo. But again, it's easy enough to get if you end up doing. So now we can go to the only sort of straight pathway, which is up these stairs right here. Again, there's... You know, I didn't really walk or run at this point just in case I got cured, and I just can't be asked for that bit. Can't be asked for restarting. Even though I did quite a bit <laughs> at the end of this chapter. That must be the university. Oh, all that light... Don't like this. So you can take a look around like I did. There's no items or anything of basically anything of any interest, only to find out where the university was. So we can just go ahead and sneak back down these stairs here. Again, I'm just sort of having to check if there's any items or again anything of any interest, but there's really not, so we can nip on down. Come on down. This is your last warning before we drag you out on your ass. So obviously don't go straight down the steps here because you will get seen and obviously be sliced up. So just sort of take your time, follow these, follow where these guys go a minute. They're just going to keep going straight on so you'll have uh, none of them to worry about. And all we'll be doing then is just heading down the old stairs here. But turning directly around when you get down these stairs to find another couple of Itemios.
Okay, so I don't actually know what happens at this point. You were literally only going from one wood to this bit of wood right here, but that wasn't actually an edit problem. That was actually in-game, so I don't know what happened there. So, all we'll do, wait for this guy to finish blabbering on to himself about some kind of crap. As a lot of guards have been doing in this game. Go to the left, get your ignifer out. Uh, pop it on the unlit sort of torch there, and then we can hide behind here. Wait for the slow-ass guard. Looks like he's pooped his pants. To hurry up, as soon as he nips just past the left here, now we should be good to go. No need to distract him, because he'll just sort of blabber on about some more crap. Now you're okay to run, climb over this bit. Now, this will sort of happen, this is going to happen a few times throughout the chapter. You get to a new area and it's just basically sneaking past guards and distracting them. Happens a lot during this chapter. Let's go ahead, grab this leather right here then. <laughs> Rats everywhere. Now it's up to you what you want to do here, but of course there's no point destroying his lantern because the other guard with the torch will will either see you and the other guard won't die and it's just no point. So turn around behind you, there is a another couple of items, rocks and a pot if you need it. And this guard again won't turn around now so you can just sneak on to the right to grab a stick, which we will need to get through the rats. So light it up with the torch just here then, just around the other side. And then just go very sneakily, very slowly, just to the right. From here you should be okay so you can burn out your fire stick. Um, grab out your rocks then. Distract the guard and then you will be able to go on your free merry little way. He shouldn't be able to see you from there. But again, it's worth his items just at the back here. So walk as soon as you can and then get round the corner quickly before he turns around and sees you. So hopefully you grabbed all of the items that I did just there. As soon as you get down this ladder then, uh, don't go to the right yet, just go to the left. You're going to find another couple of items right here. And another stick that we need because we're going to be following our way to a treasure chest. So as soon as you get this fire on here, immediately turn around and go down to the rats. Now we'll be heading towards the left. So take a straight path and then turn left. It's, it's a pretty fairly obvious gap. And then as soon as you can, I mean the time is quite tight on this one, but you should be okay. And then as soon as you get to this torch here, press Y, then you can enter the chest, get a couple of tool items and leathers and alchemy frolls. And we'll just be heading back exactly the way we came and heading on through. So while they're having an argument then, probably that he wants her, but he won't leave her husband, who's all probably plagued up. Something, I don't know, just trying to get a bit of Coronation Street extra drama in here or something. Get out your sling and get rid of this dead body, so the rats will be all over that boy. And then, lucky for us, the guard will hear that and come in. Oh, and look at that, lucky lucky for us again, it's only one lantern, guys, so well, you know exactly what we got to do here. Fucking 
Sorry, our kid, but that had to be done. So Greg, the rats now are completely distracted. I didn't really think there'd be enough bones on the two bodies for him to be distracted for this long, but again, whatever works for us. Uh, tread very carefully by them. If you do get caught, you might die and end up, well, dying. <laughs> Have a look into this treasure chest here and we will find yet another curiosity collectible with a few items. And that should be number 17 out of 25 now. Or 26 even. Ah, close enough. So since there's nothing else for us here in this room, um, climb back over the bit of wood, tread very carefully next to the rats. And now we will head upstairs. That is where our exit is. But just before we head to the exit, head to the right of this room here to pick up another few items. And you can have a look at the few dead bodies on the bed right here, just to see what just to see what the plague has really done to people. Even though we have in, I think, chapter 5 when we were walking all over those dead bodies. So have a look, there's no items in this room, so now we can exit. We should be good to go. And this bit can be slightly disgusting. Ah, oh, well. You walked over dead bodies, nothing's disgusting anymore, is it? Uh, you can have a look, you've got somebody chatting to someone, you know, the Inquisition being hard bastards, because they're all in a group, but if they were on their own... Have a look down the, just by the stairs here, and uh, grab some items if needed. I'll, I'll be showing you all items that are in the game anyway, if I needed them or not, just in case you do. Uh, jump over the fence, grab another bit of cord. There is a few dead pigs there. I wouldn't touch them, though. Wouldn't grab them for bacon. <laughs> um, and then before you head down, head just down this little alleyway here to find some more rocks. So now we can carry on with the story. And what we'll be doing, we'll be coming to that guard on the right just a little bit later on. But we'll be uh, slinging two of these guys down first to get rid of the rats that are underneath where they're hanging because we don't want to end up like those guys ah hell nah right so first things first then it can be a slight puzzle but again just following me you should be good to go really i can't believe i just said good to go again so go out of the first exit right here now with this guard it can be again i completely messed up so on this point, that's why there was a little edit jump there. So, even if I get that torch going, wait for this guard to come down. You need to sort of time it, you know, right enough. Get your pot and then smash that over there. Again, if you do it too early, he doesn't hear it and goes to the torch you lit up earlier. Therefore, you'll have to restart the checkpoint. Now, quickly, before he comes back, up the steps, grab the pot, grab the couple of items that are here. And also, make sure to grab a stick on your way past. If you don't, you are going to have to restart it, I'm afraid. Or just go back to that point. But uh, now we should be good. So head out of the next left area that you can. There are no guards here. So you can just get out. It's just full of rats as it is. So grab the torch. Go behind you then. And we'll be getting another treasure chest. With another unlit torch. So make sure to light that up. Otherwise you die. So start sneaking right now, jump over this sort of wooded area right here, and then um, obviously light up this torch. So what we'll be doing is, don't need to go underneath anymore, just obviously go to where all the lights are. The guard won't see you again, which is handy. So get out your pot, throw it as far away to the left as you can. Sort of over by the torch should be good. Grab the other pot, because we might need it a bit later on. As soon as he walks off, jump over the wood. Uh, wooded fence even or whatever and then we're good to go again why do i keep saying good to go because we're always good to go but i'll never forget this smell Do you 
university. See? Keep going. The cemetery. It's on the way. I really don't want to go through there. Right, so it's only the graveyard that we've got to get past now to get to the university. Go ahead, grab this light right here. This is going to come in mega, mega handy as it will create basically a pathway for us. So what we'll do first then, uh, just chuck it over to the right. Uh, sort of sneak just in case. There's no guards about here. There's a couple of items here. But I only sneak just in case you sort of... <laughs> yeah, go ahead and do that. Run right into the rats. Not one bite though. Amicia Darun's luck is 100. Grab the light again. Uh, put it to the left where the doorway is there. And there is only one guard that's upstairs and we'll be getting him devoured by rats anyway. So happy days for us. Uh, bunch of items in this room, in the chest. Uh, I don't think we can upgrade anything just yet. But then again, it could be wrong. I have stage. I, I am wrong. We can upgrade. Second Atty Rail coming up now. So once again, I'm steering you wrong. But um, yeah, thanks for sticking around again. So we're almost coming up to the end now. We've only got um, three more of these to upgrade before we get two different achievements. So grab everything that's in this room here. I actually thought the, I thought there was a guard coming actually through the door. That's why I pooped myself then. But there's not. He's only upstairs. So obviously have a sneak around. There's nothing that is is down there. Um, go to the right before you mess around with the light. Another couple of items, salty pitas. And then guess what we're gonna do? Whoops. <laughs> so's pal. So there's no way he's getting up from that. And if he does, then he's a zombie. And this is basically Zombie Army 4. The new zombie game. Right, next light then. All we're we'll doing, we'll be going through that window. So just get rid of these rats here and head on through the old window. Let's get out of here. Magister, the Episanguis. Ah. Episanguis? What's that? I need to see this. So again, this area, no guards. We're all happy with that. Just go straight ahead first, grab a few items on here, and then get your Ignifer out, and go ahead and light up that unlit torch. Because now, what we will be getting is a completely new item. Episanguis, which um, we can now make a new potion with that as well. What that does is basically distracts the rats um, from a surrounding area. So if you throw it at a certain area, all the rats will be distracted like so. Like so. Like so, like so, like so, and then you can nip on by. Yeah, took my time there, soz. So, yep, few items on the right here, so now we've got this new potion, and Episanguis will be looking for this quite a lot. We'll be grabbing enough of this anyway, but now there are two, um, two uh, brand new alchemy sort of upgrades we can do, but they do not count towards an achievement. Like I said, throughout the game we'll get absolutely everything anyway, but if you just want to focus specifically on upgrading your sling until it's 100% and do the alchemy later, then that's completely up to you. But if you follow my video, you'll be getting everything anyway. So, Odoris, oh, that then, get past the rats at that point, grab a few items on your left before Odorising oh, this bit. It's 
So jump down then, and before we use the light, go to the left here, and you will find a, a few more bits of Episanguis. Now, this is the only point that you will find Episanguis, is basically inside uh, rat-infested plague walls. That's the only part and point where you will find them. Uh, put the torch and the light up to this little bit of hill right here. And what we'll do, we'll... There's a, some rocks on the left, but before we mess around with this torch... There is a little gap just to your left right here, so let's go ahead and Odorus these rats away. Now again, with Odorus, what you'll have to do is actually wait just a second or two before all the rats get to there. If you don't, even one rat will actually end up killing you, so just literally wait one second until they're all there, and you're certain they're all there, and then you'll be on your merry, merry way. Again, a couple of things needed, if needed, like so, but I don't need them, so we can just carry on. Go ahead, grab this bit of, um, so after, so don't grab the torch, sorry. Odorous your way there, and then what you can do is very quickly grab the lantern and then shine it to the left, which will trap the rats down there. Yes. So hopefully you've put the light just far enough so the rats can't get you while you steal their Episanguis again. Uh, you can't actually get through the gap, which I thought you could there. So there's already an open gate, which is always handy again for us. So have a look, get some salt pizza just in front of you there, and before we mess around with the cart right there, there is a gap to the left of that cart, which I can't seem to find until just now, uh, <laughs> which you can climb over and we'll be grabbing another curiosity collectible inside this little bit here. Sinister enough. So just climb back up now, and now we will be using the cart to get even closer to the university entrance. All you got to do is just push and push it to the left-hand side when you're out of this gate. Oh, oh no! That was very discreet. Right, now just a bit more. You see? You're doing... Love that nobody heard that then. My god, what happened here? I'm getting closer. Your book better really exist, Lucas. Oh lord, the sick, they've slaughtered them. The rats! They've unleashed the rats! I, I can't! I'm sorry! Well, this is an unfortunate end for the village of... France. Um, yeah. So basically, a lot more revelations are coming out now about what the Inquisition did and have done, and it gets completely very, very interesting. Just a few items here on the right, more Episanguis, etc. Um, and what we can actually do now is do our upgrades without a workbench at this point. So, again, this is another point that I just choose to do one of the alchemy ones. But, like I said, it's up to you if you'd rather save your items for the other upgrades on your sling. So, yeah, as I said, the story gets real interesting now. Now it's not just about trying to survive the plague. Now it's about what the Inquisition are actually doing to the already sick. Now, at this point, we're coming closer and closer now to the end of this chapter. Go ahead, grab your pot, and throw it directly in front of you. And what we can do is something fantastically special as well. Get your Odorus ready, and then throw it at the guy's helmet. <laughs> That's an unfortunate 
unfortunate way to meet your end. Uh, but again, if you, then again, if you're using this, the already sick to your own benefit, then you deserve to die. So go to the right where that guard was. Down here is a, another bunch of stuff to collect for us. Uh, fabric and tool items, etc, etc. You can have a look, but I think that's pretty much everything from this area. So you can stop looking because there is nothing there. Now go ahead, just again, slowly take your time. There is a pot on your left and some alcohol, which we're needing right now. And then again, sneak. There's another couple of guards that we'll need to get rid of. But don't worry. Yeah. All the others will soon be saved. Hey, stop chucking them in the water. So when you want to grab that item up top, go down and get your rocks out. We'll be distracting this guy right here. So smash your rock over to the left there. Get your old doors ready again. Again, craft is probably better to craft it just before. So just so you're not rushing as all. Throw it at Mr. Shieldman's helmet. Because if you <laughs> well, if we ain't getting you from the front, we're definitely getting you from the back. Take don't Take that in a sexual way again, though, okay? That's just... That's wrong. That's wrong. So there's a couple of items in where we were standing. Uh, there is an item just to the left as well of where the guard is being chewed up to death. I'll sneak on over again. There are another few guys in this area, which is why I'm not walking and running just yet. Get some more epic sandwich. Epic sandwich. And I thought they were items, but they were just the uh, distraction helmets. Uh, so just to the right, then get some more rocks. Uh, that is just where we were behind the guard. And this area is now clean, so now we can go ahead and just cross over the bridge with no issues. No issues at all. Why are they still here? Are the Episanguis cages. This is not just an evacuation. All going to get ill hanging around here. So for the first part, don't worry about these guys. We can just sneak directly down to the left here. Uh, what we'll be doing is a slightly little bit of timing kind of thing. So get your rocks out. There's a bunch of helmets to throw out right here. So that first guard, and only that first guard will be distracted. So go back to where he was. Get your Odorus ready as well. And then, of course, you need to save your bacon. So go ahead. Put the torch or the lantern or whatever this is just to the right. So you've got a nice little aim at him. And then job is a good one. So that's one guard out of the way. And the second guard's a lot easier. Get your rock out and then sling it at his head when we get there. He might see you, but it shouldn't be no problem because there's no other guards left because they're all dead. I mean, don't like that. That looks and sounds extremely painful. I mean, it would a rock to the head, and he's dead. But you know, intense speed from uh, big, big Galamisia there. Congrats on that. Let's go back to the um, alleyway we were first. Then go to the left. We're actually coming up to a second alchemist cart now. So what we'll need to do is get our uh, Luminosa ready. So craft one potion. Smash them out the way for the rats. And apparently you can walk through fire with no issues and no burning ailments. And the alchemist cart is directly in front of you then. So pick up all the items you can. Have a look if you need upgrades if you want to. But of course we can do that from the start menu anyway. And remember as you leave this alchemist cart directly to the right. There is a few more episanguises. So go ahead and grab them just behind it. Nightmare. Come on, 
Be brave. The university must be close. This should make things a little easier. Pretty sad end to meet your maker there. So we upgraded another bit of alchemy again there. Now this is the part and I kept dying on really completely stupid parts, and I'll let you know which ones now. But basically, you've got to get from this point to more or less the end, and you've got quite a few things to do, and this is where the checkpoint is. So if you die, you've got to actually come back here and do the whole thing again. So first things first, as soon as the guard below gets down to where the other guard is, then you can release the rats. That should kill them both. And there's nothing on the left, so we're going to go down to the right-hand side now. And yeah, like I said, this took me about five or six times for some stupid reason. I just kept dying on really idiotic parts. So go to the right. You'll see this guard here holding a torch. You'll have to throw a pot to distract him down there. We can't kill him, so we'll just wait for him to turn left. And then immediately go and grab these two items there. Then you can walk slightly run over to the chest just here grab what you can and then before he turns back around then get to this bit of uh, wooded fence and then you should be good to go so that's the first bit done that bit you can do with really no issues so go ahead sneak around keep on sneaking around just head to the left under this archway and you're going to find another couple of items and there's a few instances you've got to be quite quick. Otherwise, you'll die. Get caught and die. And the first bit was not this bit. We're just grabbing a few items from the left here. But there is a pot that we need directly in front of us by these rats. If you take too long there, the rats will kill you. So grab the, grab the pots. As you can see, they started walking towards you. Grab the pot and just back out. And this guy is a pain in the ass. So those rats I died at first. Grab your pot. Distract them as far as you can to the left. And then immediately you should be good to go. Grab your Episanguis on the left. Now you have to walk. You can't sneak because he will see you if you try and do what I do here. So sneak when you're up against the wall because obviously he'll see you. And now when you're at the gap, just walk over and then immediately sneak again. I got caught there twice and that pissed me off. In fact, I actually got caught by this guard very stupidly as well. And all you got to do is distract him with the rock and wait till he walks further enough. I didn't wait until he walked far enough, so he caught me, and that really pissed me off. But I promise, it is a lot easier than I actually just made it out to be then. So, <laughs> but now we are at the checkpoint. If you do die five or six times, then I promise you it's all for stupid reasons like I did. Now, that is the entrance we are going for. There are two entrances you can go, but... There's one entrance where these guys have just come out, and you can go down there with very, very, j just complete ease. Or the main doors we will go in where there are two guards, uh, two guards standing, well, guard. But that is what will get us an achievement. But first things first then, we grab a pot, we go to where those two guards came out from. And you have to be quite quick with this. So first things first, get your old burning potion out. Get a rock, sling the other guy, and then sling the, the first guy again. Well, you can miss if you want, but as long as he doesn't catch you, it's all good and dandy. Walk up to it then. Those other guards apparently can't hear any commotion. Again, which is great for us. The, the guards will have a bit, uh, few items on them. I'm not sure if they're all random, but straight up then we will find another gift. And that now is 9 out of 11. And a few items there for us as well. So then we are literally finally almost done. So now, uh, don't worry, there is a pot, for some reason, just a random pot where the next guard is. So that, that is one of the entrances you can go down, but you will miss an achievement for it. So it, and this isn't even that bad to get in through the hardest entrance anyway. So just sneak and keep to the right as far as you can. These guards will not be able to hear or see you. Grab this pot right here. And then it's just as easy as flinging it, once again, as far left as you can. 
Wait until this shielded guard walks just past the wooded fence you're at. And for some reason, this guard, complete, complete mong, won't see you. And that is chapter 9 complete and another achievement for you. Congratulations! So now we are actually inside the university and this is quite a nice chapter. So first things first then, when you get to sort of this area where she starts looking at the books, turn to the right down this open hallway right here. This might get slightly confusing, just go to the left where the flag is. And to the left there, there is a door but that is locked so you can't do anything about that quite yet. Not quite yet anyway. Again, if you needed to craft some ammo, go ahead and do that. At the moment, should be good. Just gonna fly up my Odorus for just a for just a second, and it's always worth doing. If if there are any items that you you can't pick up, it's always worth just crafting one or two ammo just to pick them up. You can never have not you can never have enough ammo. You can never have enough items as well. So go straight, go down to the left at the end of the hallway. And to the left of that then is some more fabric for us to pick up, which is great because we'll be using that to upgrade a sling very soon. And that is pretty much it for this little area. So now we can just go back to the main foyer bit and just carry on for two seconds. Flowers, yes, there are roses. I'm on the right track. Uh, how many days have we been here? I've lost count. I can't even tell the difference between day and night anymore. Shut up in here. It'll soon be over. Vitalis has brought back a young lad to open the last door. Days we've been here, and the Grand Inquisitor himself is coming to help us. Gonna be quite an event. Only one guard in this room, so sling his head clean off. <laughs> like so. <laughs> and then t directly to the left of you, a couple more items, epic, epic sandwiches. Then just turn around from there, on the left, uh, next to this big old book, there's some more fabric, which again is what we desperately need right now, and that is enough for us if you go into your upgrades, that will be enough to get us our strings sorted. So now we only need one more for the pouch, and that will gain us a, another achievement, but of course we've got... You know, even if you're quite a bit behind at this point, you haven't upgraded it all totally, don't worry because there's still another six chapters and there's loads and loads of items still to get. So I wouldn't worry too much about it if you're not exactly at the same part I am right now. So if you grab those items there just on the bookshelf, grab this cart and push it over and go to the end of that. We'll get some more items. It's just the epic circle. So for one, somehow those guards don't hear. You can understand outside there's a lot of rat noise, but for some reason they can't hear the only door being opened in the building at the moment. <laughs> Congratulations. You are stupid. Right. They are looking for it too. Now, this isn't a killing section. This is another stealthing section, so you'll have to wait for that guard right there to just start walking away which once he does you you'll be able to sneak on by grab some alcohol again if needed on his desk although surely if you did and he came back and went well where the hell's my alcohol gone 
yeah, yeah, video games, just beautiful. Anyway, once he walks back then, walk over to where he stood again, grab some leather. Somehow he won't notice that missing as well. And before we head on, you just grab a couple of epic sandwiches and... Epic sandwiches. Getting my uh, words mixed up. He won't actually see you now, so now we are into the next room. So, on the right track we are. And again, this is another sort of sneaking section. This guard right here, he won't turn around, so go ahead and grab some... Um, sulfur if needed once again I go over to the left next to the uh, light after grabbing some epi sandwiches is 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 too true there's parts of the bastion I don't go anymore the things they're doing there yeah let's not talk about it well that looks a lot better go on get out of there go now this next bit, I was chucking the Odoris over to the guard on the left there, and what it should do is kill both guards, but the one on the right I'm throwing it at now kept running away. So that's what I do. If that keeps happening, just throw it at the far guard on the right hand side, and then eventually this guard will have it as well. So I don't know why, but when I was only throwing it at the, the left guard first, it wasn't killing the both guards, which means I had to keep restarting. So that was about three or four times. With all of the rats gone then, now you can go in here where the rats were and get another flower, which is in a weird, weird place. Now let's carry on forward then, get into sneaking mode and just sneak between these two sets of rats here. Sometimes they'll be further apart, but... You know, depends where they end up killing both the guards. Go to the right, we've got a couple of items to grab here and have a look at the plague infested plagueness if you so desire. Some more leather, which again, because we end up crafting quite a bit of ammo and some of the alchemy, leather and fabric are quite important. So we need to be grabbing as much as we can. Go straight, head into this bookcase here. And just to the right is absolutely nothing, so we can carry on going straight. That's work waiting for you. We're really scraping the barrel if Vitaly stoops to catching a beggar like this. A prisoner. So forget those guards talking down there, sneak onto the right, wait until this guard heads to the left, and pick up a, uh, some rocks if needed. Again, there's some alcohol there as well. To the right, there's some um, fabric as well, so make sure to pick that up. Grab some rocks, we'll be doing a bit of distracting with the helmet on the left-hand side. Just over there, so both guys will be distracted, so as soon as they turn around, go ahead and nip on by. And go straight up into the next room. There's something on this box I think you can grab as well, some alcohol. And now, this bit actually took me quite a while to figure out, which I thought I'd be able to just move the rats and go into the next area, but actually we will be not only distracting those two guards, but we'll be killing them as well. So some rocks by the fireplace, which you will need, and get some epi sanguis from this plague infested wall over here. Now, with this lantern, yes, what you need to do is put it basically where that vase is right there, about halfway in between the vase and not. Get the Odoris and go ahead and mess it up on the guy's helmet. Now, what should have happened really is both rats should have, um, all rats should have killed both guards, but he didn't. Somehow that one guard got away. So for us, it was having to make another bit of Odoris and hit it on this guard's helmet again. And what I thought I could actually do was make a little gap for myself and just go on through the door. But, hell nah, that ain't happening. So we actually, that's why you have to kill both guards. So all of the rats will be distracted. What was 
that then? <laughs> Here we go then, now we can finally walk on by with hopefully no guards and no rat deaths. So I thought I thought I saw an item there but it was actually just in front of me, some more Episanguis, so like I said there's plenty of that about. So don't worry if you do miss one or two, there is plenty of it in the game. Go to the left at this point here for some more items. Hope I haven't taken a wrong turn. So again, you see this workbench here. Now, I actually don't bother um, messing around with the alchemy upgrades at the minute because I want to get the two last uh, sling upgrades all done and sorted so we can get both achievements. So again, completely up to you if you want to do that, but I leave it there. And this is what I meant earlier by, even though it says I've got to follow them and not lose them, you don't actually have to rush and follow them and not lose them, because they only go into the next room. So sneak down here, get your rocks ready, we'll be taking out these two priests. Or, well, they're not really priests, they, I mean, they're evil dickheads. But get the one on the left first, the one further away, and... Oh, <laughs> excellent miss there. That's what I mean, sometimes the head bobbin is just a fantastic away to uh, dodge some rocks. So once they're dead, then pick up whatever they've got on their body. Again, there's a few little items scattered around, and then we can just nip into the next room. Then we'll be saved from the plague. Hadinem, at Lucum. Oh, well said. Move it! Now listen to me. Me and my friends spent some time in the jails of the Bastion, making the heretics talk. You're pretending to be tough now. Right, once again, get your rocks out, get your sling ready, smash this guy square in the noggin. Bam! <laughs> And do it twice. And of course, you can only do that with one of the alchemy upgrades. So if you didn't have the alchemy upgrades, what you would have had to have done was get the uh, burning potion on his head and then do that. So there is a way around everything, so never mind. Now on the right side of the bench here, you see this curiosity collectible. Uh, and that should be 19 now out of 26. And go ahead and just go around to the other side because there was another couple of items which for some reason she couldn't just stretch over and reach but, but that's okay that that's fine we can always grab them anyway and go ahead sneak on because we are moving on to the next room as you grab some salty peter on your way so recognize it remind you of your dad don't you talk about my father oh really <laughs> you want to play that game Again, these guards ain't turning around, so go to the left right here, and you'll see just another couple of items. And then what you'll need to do now is get your sling out. There's only one way to take out this guard, and that is with one epic swing of a sling. That'll kill him, and then Roderick, who is this guy, absolutely bats the crap out of this guy. So 
I mean, he is one hard motherfucker. But thank you. We need to leave. The other guards must have heard that. He's talking and trying to get the door open. You get some items, but now you've got to be ready because three guards will come in and try to attack you all one by one. So go ahead, get your sling ready. It's always worth just getting ready, and then as soon as you see the guard, get it up to his head, and that should kill them. We actually missed the uh, third guard at this point, but just about get him. So, but it, it hits him on the gut for some reason. Oh, that was <laughs> that was epically close. So now we, <laughs> so now it's just all about running, running, running. So we can calm down just a little bit now, grab these three items on the left side of the box here and, we'll, well, we'll still need to be chased, I mean, we've really pissed the Inquisition off now, but they still haven't said why they want Hugo, and in a couple of chapters time we will actually figure out why they want him. So as you can see on the right hand side, the little flashing object there, go ahead, that is just a chest, open that up, get some stuff inside of that. What about the book? Just you wait and see. There's lots of them around here. Oh, wow. Another library. By the way, Roderick right here is a cool, cool dude. I really like him, one of the best secondary characters I've seen in a video game for a long time. So, to get the story moving then, you have to look up where I just did at the uh, Banner Flowers. That is where the book that we need out. So, now you and Roderick will uh, ham and spam this Y button here, because we'll be needing the cart. Maybe I spoke too soon. I need to act as a counterbalance. I'll stay over here. Tell me which lever you want me to pull. All right. So now what Roderick will do with all them biceps, whatever uh, mechanism we want him to hold and pull open, he will actually do it for us. He is massive. So go ahead, when he does that, immediately go to the left, grab the card. You said you'd act as a counterbalance. I did. It gave way. Right. We'll have to be very careful. So once Amicia pushes this heavy looking cart all the way down to the end, don't climb up on it yet, just go forward to this little alcove here for another curious collectible and a few other items. And now we can go ahead and climb up. I tell you what, for all the um, praise I've just been giving to Roderick already, Amisa's got some big old strong ass arms anyway, pushing all these carts and everything that she has done and all these heavy ass braises. So my respect goes out to these people who didn't have any barely anything to eat. And um, yeah, we're strong as shit. Anyway, what you need to do there is tell Roderick to get the top mechanism because that will allow us to push this one down and, well, push it. Uh, come on, move. Hey, don't injure yourself. Do you want me to? No, my brother. I owe him this. For all the times I wasn't there for him. Yeah? Well, you'd have a hard time bringing the book back with a broken mm. arm. Uh. Oh. It's too quiet. Where did the soldiers go? Mm. 
That might look like it's not going in anything or anywhere, but if you tell Roderick to get off that, then that bookcase will fall on it, which will help us uh, climb over that, and it's not going to be too high. So go immediately behind these rocks then for another couple of items. This is, again, a pretty very... Uh, tell Roderick to just pick up that mechanism that was closest to you then. Then you can climb up and head to the right this time. Again, this was a very good, clever puzzle. It's one that, again, sort of wasn't wasn't too challenging, but again, it had to make you think. If you didn't tell Roderick to do that, then, well, you wouldn't be able to get through this point. So, again, very, very well done puzzles in this game. The, the guys and gals who made this and thought of this have done an absolutely excellent job so far with it. Well, actually, they did for the rest of the game too, but we will come up to that. So that's it then. Grab the book that you need. I can barely believe it. You'd better believe it and get back quickly. They'll be here any second. You seem to know each other well. He destroyed my life. I know what that's like. Run, run. As fast as you can. You can't catch me on the gingerbread, man and woman. And I'm not saying person. It's man and woman, okay? Ready? It's gonna be hell out there. Ready? Let's get out of these corridors quick. Couldn't agree more. Let's go and find the others. Where the hell are they? We've certainly stirred them up. Quiet. I can't risk losing this book. The guard on the left won't come out again, so don't worry about him, but this bit is absolutely epic. This is incredible. So what you can do when you're with Roderick, when there's a guard that's on his own, on his own, and Roderick can sneak up behind him, all you've got to do is just press up on the D-pad and just watch. Roderick, you're up. That's for my father. Wow. Uh, do you do that a lot? No. But I'm starting to like it. My god, how epic was that? He is one tough little mofo. And he's starting to like it as well. So <laughs> that was unbelievable. I love that. And we'll be doing it quite a few more times um, in the game. <laughs> Just brilliant. So at this point then, just distract the guard, wait until the guard goes over, and then press up on the D-pad for Roderick to take his ass down as well. Again, if you do it too quickly, he'll see him come from the side and he'll be dead. <laughs> Go on, lad. He won't be getting up anytime soon. No, I don't think so, pal. Jesus. Not if he just broke his neck with one f foul swing. Anyway, grab a few items that were in this room and then just nip through the little gap in the bookcase here. Go to the right. There are some uh, items, of course, in another chest, as there has been for quite a lot of this game. And directly to the left is another gift. Might help. So that's it then. Gift 10 out of 11. We've got one left and we'll be grabbing that quite shortly as well. Now in this next room, if you go directly to the right, you'll find some more items. If again, you need it. But there are only two guards and you and Roderick will be tag teaming each other. You will be double teaming each other. So make Roderick smash out the guard with the armor on. And then immediately you will aim for the guy with no armor on. As long as you do that basically at the same time, then both of you will be fine. Roderick, you are... He is my hero throughout this game. I know Amicia and Hugo are the, the ones doing everything, but <laughs> Roderick is my hero. So have a look at any items that you needed and on the guards, just in case. Obviously, it's always a just-in-case thing on this. And then, as long as you're happy, and I think we are pretty much happy with that, we can swiftly move on. Head up the stairs. Oh, tell me it leads outside. It leads outside. Fresh air. I can smell it. Fire. Oh, shit. No. Fire. Shit. Did we? Fire is spreading. Is the Grand Inquisitor still inside? How do I know? Go and see. And give the order to evacuate. This is good. We should make the most of it. Ah, fucking rats. That's all I need. Bastion to question me. I saw the alchemists making some stuff they called the extinguish. It puts flames out. 
I was going to save it for later, but... It's worth a try. Just need to aim at the fire. I do actually have to laugh at the name of that potion. That's basically extinguish without the H. So, very well thought up that one there. So once uh, Roderick gives you that, you end up killing the guard. Go over to where the guard was for another few more items. But this extinguish obviously will come once again in handy pretty much from now until the end of the game. So you'll be using it quite a lot. Be a lot more than you'll be using the Ignifer from this point on. Craft up some more extinguish if you need it, because you'll be killing this guard right here. Choose it, uh, extinguish his flame, or oh, sorry, extinguish his flame. And then just go straight ahead and jump over this little wooded fence right here for our third alchemist card then. So again, go ahead, craft another luminosa, which again, I'm pretty sure you only need six times throughout the whole game. But once that's crafted, kill these rats and go straight ahead and collect everything you can from the cart. So if you have been following my video for the entirety of this point now, we should have enough items to completely upgrade our sling and get the achievement for doing so called it's not a toy anymore like i said if you haven't then that's also fine because again we've still got plenty of chapters left to go and a lot of items still to get but if you have been following my video grabbing all the items that you have on the way past then you should be getting this right here Now we're going back the way we came. You obviously can't get through the rats there, so head to this little gap through the bushes here. And you have to be careful. There's going to be... Uh, jump over the wooded fence here, but there's going to be a guy coming out of the building, basically on fire. But somehow, he can still clock you and um, <laughs> basically let you know, or let his mate know, that you're there and you get fudged up. So, as soon as we get to this point now, so just be careful. He somehow, <laughs> so somehow he can still see you. So just stay behind this bit of fountain there when he comes out. And he douses himself out lovely as well, which is handy for that guy. But it won't be when we kill him. <laughs> so what we do then, the guard won't turn around yet, but we need to get to this point, get the rock, and we'll distract him when they stop talking. Oh, I mean, you can do it now if you want. I don't know why you've got to wait till they finish talking. I think it came from over there. Like I said, if you're a little bit more paranoid, you can wait until the guard gets to the actual helmets to investigate. But you should be okay to do it relatively quickly. So just go behind you here for another item or two. Uh, just some more sulfur again, if, that, if that's what you need, then it's right there. And we'll actually be having to run through that burning building. So grab a pot. Grab, there's some Episanguis, there's a few more things on a bench, there's also something to the uh, the Episanguis there to the right, so grab that before you head off. Two bits. Uh, what we'll do then, throw the pot basically directly in front of us and then get our new mate Roderick to smash his skull in through apparently impenetrable armour. It's not that good armour. The English ain't paying you well, mate. Ah, that's a Tory few, huh? Wink. Ooh, government controversy. Anyway, once he's dead, you've got no reason to sort of sneak around now, but, you know, just in case, isn't it, I suppose. 
uh, grab a few things to where the guard was, and then if you're all good, now we can just start having a little run through the burning building. Do we really have to go in there? Take a deep breath. Uh, it's already hot. What a bloody mess. Oh, what? What are we going to do? Follow me, and look after your book. They're here. Don't worry about them. Oh, Lord! I need a hand here, huh? Come on, come on! You hear me? Wait! Look! It's burning behind here! Stay out of the way! What are you doing? I'm... Oh! So then, that is chapter 10 complete, and can I just say, god damn it, if I was a girl, what Roderick just then done there would be enough to get into my knickers. While slamming through a burning door, absolutely muscly and beefy as hell, while burning yourself. And I tell you what, if Amicia, if Amicia ain't gonna fancy Roderick after this, well, she ain't gonna fancy no one, is she? Although I suppose, you know, her priorities are probably in a different place right now. Anyway, enough of that disgusting talk on this video um, again highly recommend you keep watching all the cutscenes as you sort of get a fully understanding of why Hugo sort of went missing and you know all things like that but this is the second shortest chapter now out of three of the games so it's a sort of nice break from getting all the um, plaguiness and all the inquisition -ness. it's just a nice chilled out bit of break and once again it's just us grabbing some items, grabbing a few collectibles, and generally having a good time. The world has forgotten this castle. So grab the few items that he just did there, and not only can Roderick take down guards with one fatal swing, he can actually just burst open locked doors with a couple of barges with a shoulder. Tell you what, he could be he could be well good for the Welsh rugby team if he was Welsh and alive and non-fictional. So yeah, what we're doing through this chapter again, he just again just follow what I do, follow where I go. There's just a bunch of items and things we're gonna collect. I'm only gonna really talk about when we're coming up to a collectible, really. As you sort of should know <laughs> what the items are and what they do and what they upgrade and things by now. Surely, surely. Hmm. That looks dangerous. Let's avoid it for now. Another door. Shall we continue? Of course. Let's see where this leads us. Oh, the courtyard. It's a shortcut. Oh, just head to the left first then and grab a few items and then we'll be heading down some stairs to get some more. But what I will say is Basically, at some point now, they're gonna they're gonna uh, exclaim. All the guys and gals are gonna exclaim. You need to see Hugo. You need to see Hugo. Again, just just don't worry about Hugo. He's not going anywhere, and he's not gonna die yet. I mean, uh, he's not gonna die at all. <laughs> um, no, he's actually not gonna die. So that's actually not a spoiler there. Thank God. But yeah, just don't listen. Don't run straight to Hugo. Just again, follow the video and enjoy this peace and quiet for five. Amicia, come and see this. You'll like it. I'm coming. A fresco. It's strangely familiar. It includes the symbol pillars. This castle has things to tell us, huh? And what is it telling us then? Even I don't understand everything. I just think we'll be fine here. Amicia! Come quickly! 
It's Hugo! Oh no. I'm coming! Need me? Uh, I'll okay, so where uh, Melly's telling you to go, just go right there, but don't go up the ladder, go directly to the right, there's some sulfur or some saltpeter on the ground, and directly ahead of you then is some more flowers for another collectible. So it's directly from the right where Melly was telling you to come up. I know, but you're right. I should go and see Hugo. Hugo needs me. I'm here, Lucas. Quickly, Hugo, please. I should go and see Hugo. <coughs> it's getting worse and worse. <coughs> the macula is progressing too fast. I realize that, Amicia. <coughs> So there we go then, chapter 11 done, we've only got 5 chapters left to go now, and we've got one more short dreamlike uh, chapter, which is the one after this one, which is a very nice one as well, uh, and quite intense actually. But now then, we are coming back up to the Darun estate, and it's obviously, we were here in the first chapter, it seems and is a lot different than what it was then. So. Five chapters left to go. We'll be coming up to another achievement quite shortly as well. And I will let you know when we are at that point. But for now, it's just the same old sort of getting past the rats, sneaking through a few guards, and not dying. The tree trunk. They must have gone that way. Don't fall. Don't fall. What the hell is that? Look out, Lucas. What the... What's the matter with them? I don't know, but I don't like it. Let's get out of here. They're not even paying attention to us. Lucas. We'll deal with that later. Come on. Oh, there are so many of them. When Hugo and I ran away, I remember something attacked the gods. I think it's thanks to the rats that we were able to escape that day. I see. This must be one of the first places they came from. But it doesn't explain their behavior. Yeah, so there's only one real path to go up that way then. And uh, what we'll do is um, get rid of this chain link fence holding this cart back. This is my home. Do you hear me? My home. <laughs> mm. 
Now then, this next bit, I actually screwed up again about five or six times, but it, this is where I actually unlock the achievement for crafting 100 ammo, and I'll tell you why. You'll see me unlock it here, um, but again, you might not get it at this bit. It depends on if you've had to restart certain checkpoints, so you might get it earlier, you might get it a bit later than me, but if you're yet to get it by sort of chapter 15, chapter 16, then it's worth just restarting check, crafting a bunch of ammo and then restarting the checkpoint when you get there, if you obviously need it, and obviously if you're wanting it. So go into this bit then, once you're done, to just grab a few, uh, quite, a, quite a lot of items actually in this point. And I'll tell you why I kept messing up on this part. If you go, well, basically straight, um, you need to get an Odoris and Get these rats, so what you'll need to do, yeah, get these rats, Odoris, all Odoris up, and what they should do, and then get the Ignifer, light up that bit of brazier there, what they should do is obviously all go in there, and they'll hide in there. Now for some reason, for about five or six times, there were still quite a few rats left in this building, so you've got to get it right and at a certain angle. And this is the final gift as well, so we're getting another achievement here, as well then so yeah with those rats get it on the angle that i did and you should be okay anything more to the left or right and the all of the rats won't actually get there and you can't get into this building <gasps> oh there we go that's it but like i said earlier it's also worth just waiting then for about two or three seconds for all of the rats to get to the odoris and then we are good to go and we're also getting another achievement now for upgrading our final Atti Rail. So that's three achievements then right here within, well, could potentially be two. But hopefully if you've been following the guide, hopefully if you've been following the video so far, you would have got those two achievements for the gifts and the final upgrade on the Atti Rail as well. chain on the other side. Wait, the lantern. They must have used it to get their troops through. Good idea. I'll have a clear shot. You can go back down. Tell me when you're ready. I'm there. So Lucas is about to do us another solid, so obviously when he's um, putting the lantern to the other side, obviously just walk slowly with him. I I think he only goes when you walk as well, so there's no chance of you actually dying here. But just go slow and steady just in case. And that's it, now you should be good. Right, this bit, now what we'll need to do is get Lucas to actually join us. So first of all, there's a couple of items just on this barrel here, so move it to get rid of, uh, make a path for yourself, get rid of a few rats. Take what you need off there. Be careful though, of course, just in case you don't want to go too far left or right and then ended up getting munched by rats for no particular reason now we need to get out our sling so we can help lucas get open and then with the lantern just turn it round and make a little pathway for him Thank you. <laughs> when he doesn't nearly f himself up there right then so make another pathway for yourself now we will be coming up to this achievement so there are two guards that are basically dying anyway but all you've got to do is not let them get eaten by rats and you will unlock the achievement so you can uh, talk to them if you want you can listen to this sob story otherwise get an odorist ready and then just uh, basically distract the rats so you can be on your merry way rather than do it better that way rather than getting the rats to eat the guard so this bit's also a little bit tricky what you've got to do is extinguish this um, torch first, the odorous, but you need to get it again in a certain angle, so get it right, just to the right of the pots, literally just to the right of the pot, and as far away as you can, and that should be then enough for all of the rats to go over, and then get your ignifer out, and then they will be trapped, which means you can go over there, basically free, free of charge, <laughs> without dying, and then you can get to the exit when you need it. Another odorous then to get all the rats out of the way and another another ignifer to get this torch going. So that basically means now that you've got the achievement because you haven't let the two dying guards be eaten by rats. So there's just a few items in here and that achievement will unlock 
just as we exit the big gate just in front of us, but we will go item hunting first. dead and I already have enough blood on my hands oh my god is this real my home is that a body over there no no please Amicia we can stop find another way no I have to see Is he your father? Right, so not often you've got rats that want to kill you, now they're teaming up and sort of tornadoing towards you. So, what you need is Ignifer, and we'll be using our sling this time. So, first one's on the left. Basically, they're, they're pretty much easy to see where they're coming out of, because you'll see obviously a big burst from out of the ground. But. You know, each wave you'll normally get three to six. It obviously depends what part of game you're on. And it does take a good, you know, a good while for you, for them to get to you. So, you know, don't panic. Just take your time with it. You know, you don't have to stress and waste all your ammo. Just even if you want to wait for them to get a little bit closer, then, of course, that's fine. Just do whatever's easier for you. But um, they're not too difficult. Don't worry. I'll lead the way. Thank you. Father! They took his body. They took it from me. I should have buried him. I should have... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Amicia. Please, let him... Rest in peace. Amicia, that body with no armor. It's one of our servants, but his body. Yes, the guards were eaten alive. He wasn't. Why? There must be a reason. If only I knew. The great break. Its aftershocks continue to ripple through time. So yeah, we've seen your dad, well, you didn't see your dad because the rats had him, but now we're starting to see and explain why the bodies are being untouched. Um, but of course we just had a few items at the minute, but in the chest just in the back before we go into the next room there is another curiosity collectible, so go ahead and pick that one up there. This is exactly where you should be on right now then, and also because we've upgraded our sling and equipment, now we can get rid of um, upgrade the rest of our alchemy there. So you might as well because we're starting to get to the point now where we're going to have tons of um, items for crafting and upgrading. Here we are. It's up there. Whoa, 
Look out. So once we've reached the top here, then basically Lucas is more or less superpowered. If you press up on the D-pad, he will be able to tell you what kind of potion this is and if it's any good to save Hugo or if it's any just normal piece of poop, which this one basically is. Again, we'll just be grabbing a bit of Episanguis and uh, whatever you can in this room. For now on the right, and then we're going to have another burst of flying tornado rats or uh, let's see if I can get a, a brief description flying tornado rats so some futters yes, yes, towards yes, it no I'm gonna stick with flying tornado rats there there are the bots Sadly, as has most happened with this game so far, rats burst out of absolutely nowhere. So, you know, your house is as good as gone anyway. So, in the chest here, grab grab what you need if you can. And now, this is the point where it starts getting a bit interesting. So, these guys think they're off, but actually what you need is to get your Ignifer ready. And fly it at them. <laughs> Lucas got right in the way there. So we actually smashed him in the back of the head. So sorry about that, Lucas, me old lad. So just uh, creep forward. There's only really one sort of pathway you can go again at this moment in time. You don't have to use a sling all the time, by the way. Sometimes, if they're close enough, it's easier just to throw your Ignifer at them rather than waiting for the sling to sort of warm up after a second or two. So that's usually what I did anyway, if I could I obviously by pressing the uh, left bumper and then right trigger throwing whatever you can at him, so now again you can craft a, quite a bit of ammo here if you're still needing the crafting 100 um, ammo achievements just so we can pick up a few more items here and then once we're, dead, uh, once we're good here we can be on our way to the underneath part now that's not a chest you can open, by the way, which I thought it was. That was close. Get a move on. They might come back. I'm scared out of my skin, Amicia. I'm here with you, but we have to keep moving. Lord, it's even worse than I thought. Everything is dead. Where are the baths? Over there, at the other end. We have to get through that. Now we've hit the outside once again then. Uh, go to the left, you'll find this little bottle of alcohol here. Instead of going to the right and carrying on, you'll go to the left, pick up a piece of fabric, and directly in front of you is another flower collectible. So that should now be 9 out of 13. I think Hugo wouldn't have wanted us to leave it here. Okay, so now we're sort of coming up to like a, a sort of a little maze. I think uh, there's it's only one pathway to go, but basically get as many ignifers as you can. And on the on the pathway, you'll see a lot of these unlit braziers and unlit torches that we'll need to go through. So just follow the same path I do, and try not to get lost. Otherwise, you die. I mean, Lucas could help if he wants, instead of daydreaming about what a boob feels like or something, but um, I always got nipped up by rats. But this bit, I have to very muchly apologise. Now, there's an alchemist cart behind us, right in front of us there now. Now, what we're supposed to do is get an Ignifer, and obviously uh, just light up the way at the back there, and then get a, a Luminosa. But, me being an idiot, I ran out of leather, completely ran out of leather, so I thought, shit! What an idiot, what am I supposed to do now? Now there is another way you can uh, get around it, and that's with the odorous trick. So what you need to do is just blast three in a row very, very quickly. 
and then run. All of the rats will be distracted, and that then should be good enough. But of course, hopefully you have got a spare leather, which you can just easily do the Luminosa, and <laughs> it'll make your life a whole lot easier. But that took me about 10 minutes to figure out the sort of odorous trick there. But this is Alchemist Cart number 4 now, I believe. And after you're done, make a pathway for yourself. Luckily, there's a lantern for us there, and then we can just nip on through back to the cart. Also, sorry, I did like that was Alchemist cart number three out of five, so close enough, but I steered you wrong again, I'm sorry. And, um, yeah, get your Ignifer ammo back up then, and, well, what will, what will we be needing to do now? Lucas is basically going to push, because he is, oh, he's got some Roderick strength in him, he's got some uh, Trenbolone steroid strength in him from somewhere, but there's going to be a ton, well not a ton, a couple of uh, flying tornado rats towards you, so just be on the lookout for them and help out and destroy them where you can. Thank you, Lucas. You see? You're pretty tough. Yes, but I don't think I'll ever walk again. Oh, come on. I don't know what my mother hid under there, but you don't want to miss it, do you? Oh, no. Come on. Let's go. I mean, come on. Well done, Lucas. That was pretty incredible. See, I tell you what, nerds have got strength too. So don't you be bad-mouthing nerds ever again. We're all massive, we're all huge. We can all squat 250 kilos if we really wanted. The hit instead of her. She, she is still alive, but, but they, I know. Think of your brother. We have to carry on. Again, there's a bit of um, Episanguis on the right which I almost missed there, but we can head down the stairs now, that is our main objective. So go ahead, keep following, keep following the way. And you'll remember this from the first chapter when you were on these stairs with Hugo when the uh, uh, Inquisition first came in and started, well, completely killing and destroying everyone. Awkward. We'll find it.
So then now it's time to get your extinguish out. Your extinguish will be extinguishing them. And then get your odorous. Chuck the rats right as far as you possibly can, straight ahead of you, down to the sort of tunnel there. And then quickly get your rignifer out as soon as all the rats are on that. Then light that torch back up. Easy peasy, once again, Mr. Squeezo. Then just push the cart forward and you're good to go. So then, luckily this time, we've actually got enough leather to craft another Luminosa to get us through. Otherwise, it would have been a little bit harder than if we were to use the odorous trick that time. So blast them out, and then peace. Peace at last for a tiny little bit. Oh. Look at the pits of rats. It's a good trick. I mean, it's a good trap. So we'll be going for basically what is quite... Um, one of the more challenging puzzles I found anyway, but basically as you see on the walls you've got four different animals and normally what you'd have to do is um, we'll be finding out which animal basically through the symbols which animal has the um, hidden switch behind it. But of course we're not going to be doing that this time we're going to be going straight underneath and doing it the quicker and easier way. So this, again, is kind of a, a, a maze, which is why I said it was a little bit tricky. If you're doing it on your own, you may get lost, and because there's a lot of getting this stick and flaming it up. So turn right first, uh, grab the Episanguis, jump over this sort of rock formation, whatever here, and then directly to the right. You'll have to crawl, and then go ahead and light up the brazier. Head, grab another stick then, light that bad boy up, and then again go directly to the right, and right again, and we'll find a couple of items, and then just head back. Right, so for some reason, once again, this isn't me editing it, this is actually another jump, uh, uh, for some reason it's just skipped. So what you need to do is climb over this rock formation on the left, go under a uh, crawl just underneath something, and then on the right there is another rock formation, and you'll end up at this bit. So I don't know, sorry about this guys and gals, I really do not know what happened. Um, but that's all you do, you climb over the rock formation, go to the left, crawl under, and there's another rock formation on the right to climb over, and this is the point that you get to then. So, really, really have no idea what happened, but that even took me by surprise then. So, really much apologies for that, if that has thrown you off and confused you a bit. Again, not sure what happened. But once you're done anyway, and you grab the two items at this point, Follow the same path I do, which is basically left out of here. Crawl under, up against the rock formation. Crawl under again. And then this is where the exit is. So that last bit could definitely be confusing. Especially when my freaking game decides to just jump and skip whenever the hell it feels like. But hopefully, as I said, you have managed to get past that bit okay it was literally just as i said over the rock formation left crawl under and then there's another rock formation on the right to just jump over so hopefully you got that and anyway so we'll just have a look for a few more items now around this point and then it is basically the lion's head where the hidden switch is Discovered her secret, Amicia. You've earned this. It's pitch black in here. It seems huge. Save your ammo. I'll take care of it. There you go. So, what do you see? Complementary products, stabilizers, reagents, noble materials, vastly superior to what we saw in the bedroom. This is it, Amicia. Good. Good. Amicia, these notes are handwritten by our mother. Tried a new transformation, but the elixir is incomplete. The torch of the carrier disappears, leaving my son in the darkness of the macula. She was on the right track, Amicia. 
What we're looking for is definitely here somewhere. But where? What does it look like? Over there. It looks like there's something. Another fresco. A child in the arms of its mother. But these marks on its torso, Lucas. The Prima Macula. But this fresco is at least eight centuries old. And yet this has happened before. But how? Who knows? Sanguinis Itinera. The Voyages of the Blood. The Macula travels through history. It's already changed the world and will do so again. This. This box has a phoenix on it. The symbol of the great alchemical work. Right, you know, you don't have to be nice to Lucas, you can just, uh, you can listen to him while you're running. So, we've grabbed all the items, now we're going for a collectible, it's not at this one, it's not next to these um, boilers. There's one that should just be to the left of you, right there, so in between these two boilers, or on the left hand side, that is where you'll find another collectible, another curiosity collectible then. Is it a family tree? Yes, of my family apparently. It must show how the macula came down to Hugo. So then, go back to Lucas now. A cutscene will happen, and then a bunch of rats will basically attack us, and there's going to be a lot of having to get the torch over to Lucas while he traverses from side to side, while a bunch of flying tornado rats are after you. So this bit's not bad, but it's when you get to the torch is when the tornado rats, you have to sort of uh, get off the torch, shoot, get off the torch, shoot. So it's a bit of back and forth there. But again, it's not... Overly difficult, really. Right then, so all we need to do is just turn your torch all the way to the left until you reach the curtain. Again, you don't have to wait for Lucas to tell you what to do, you know, he takes his goddamn time. So the open curtain is there, now you can just run ahead and grab what Lucas needs. Now there's a choice of four or five options. I think it's the one on the left. I think I guess right. <laughs> yes, I do guess right. And now the flying bunch of tornado rats uh, appear. So let's go and smash them bad boys out. And this is going to happen quite a few times, so yeah, what you'll have to do is just get off the torch, kill, get back on the torch. It's all easy enough. Right, right. Let's awaken this phoenix. Gently. Stop shaking. No time to waste any They're coming back! Slight alteration in you. Good, but not enough. You said you had to filter something out. So why are you still adding things? You have to add the order to the trap. The dear Amicia, you have to clear away to the stills for me. All right then, let's get to those stills. Amicia, they, they're going to stick with the Brazier. Oh no, they don't. Do it! I'll hold them off! Stop this. Stop it. We 
bring it to life. Lucas, I don't know if I can hold them. I'm nearly there. Lucas, I need you to hurry. I need some time. They're coming from every... Lucas, I have nothing left. Lucas! What? What's happening? I've... I've done it. And it looks like... they know. Well... Let's not hang about. Then please, after you. Lucas, you did it. We did it. Laurentius would be proud of you. I'm proud of you. Believe it! Roderick beats Arthur at the slip! That's not true! He was in front of the line! <laughs> You're just rubbish! <laughs> oh, you two are arguing again. Ugh. So I haven't uh, spoken for a little bit, I just thought I'd leave you concentrate to get rid of the rats and everything on the last one. And this is now chapter 13, this is the final shortest chapter, this will take less than 10 minutes and again this will be another chapter I just sort of leave you to it, there's not much to do, you're just basically walking forward. Uh, a couple of collectibles and items we will be getting though, but so I'll pipe up when we get to them. Is that a, a, a village? Here? Hey! Wait! Did anyone see a child come through here? Please! Oh, Amicia! Are you feeling better? How is the little one? Kulavi? Is, is, is that you? Have you seen Hugo? Did you shout at him again? No, absolutely not. Times are hard enough already without you two arguing. But we weren't arguing anymore. Amicia, a child never runs away without a reason. Open the door. I'm going to... And the first of the collectibles then is right here. If you just crouch down to the left, you see this hole in the door right here. There is a curiosity collectible to your right. He's wrecked though. He never would have left it behind like this. What is that? What is going on? Amicia, I've been waiting for you. Come with me. Laurentius? Is that really you? Where is Hugo? He... he's gone. <sighs> I knew this would happen. I did take care of him. Then why did he leave? I, I don't know. I... I did everything I could to protect him. Even... horrible things. It is easy to spill blood, but to love, to protect. I'm going to find him. Then go, and pray there is still time. Mommy, I hear a 
Louis outside. Hugo, that's him. Mother? Amicia, come here. Yes, mother. Your brother's here. How is he? If he's back, it's because he's not very well. But I did everything. You hid the truth from him. But... His emotions, Amicia. I warned you. Let me see him. He doesn't want to see you. Who are you talking to, Mummy? I have to see him. He doesn't need you anymore. That's a lie. <sighs> Go on, then. See for yourself. So then before you go and speak to Hugo, just turn directly to your right and right again into his bedroom to find yet another curiosity collectible, which will be 24 out of 26 now. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Hugo, are you all right? No. What's the matter? Why did you leave? Why didn't you tell me Mummy was alive? It was for your own good, Hugo. That's not true. You didn't want me to know. Don't say that. You're jealous. Jealous. Let go of me. Hugo, go! So then once again, Hugo's been caught and is trapped. I mean, he should be getting used to it by now, really, shouldn't he? But um, as soon as you get to this point, then sneak down once you see them um, and see Hugo in the cage. Get your rocks out and just sling them both square in the hard. Amicia! I'm here. Everything's all right, Hugo. It's over. Hey. Are you all right? They didn't hurt you, did they? No. But why did you go off like that? I heard Mummy. She was calling me. You just know, if this was Kratos and his boy, he'd be getting a slap and probably a sword around the back of the head. So anyway, once you rescue Hugo, a little bit down here, between these two trees, there is another flower collectible. It's a daffodil. Do you want it? Of course. You're not too cross, are you? I was scared, Hugo. Me too. Well, it's over now. Lady Daffodil will watch over us. Yes.
It is done. Can I go and see my mother now? Only the Grand Inqui- <sighs> Well then, the end of chapter 13 would have made you absolutely crap your pants, flooding through rats and plagues of dead bodies again. But anyway, here's a little special treat. We now get to play as Hugo and see what it's like from his perspective. And we eventually, this is the chapter we see why he, he's getting his headaches and what actually is the matter with him and why the Inquisition want him so much. So this is a really great chapter on an already great game. So anyway, there's only sort of one pathway to go. We'll be doing a lot of sneaking and stealthing. We won't be picking up any items at all. I think there's only one collectible we've got to get. But otherwise, it is just one stealthy section. One long-winded stealthy section. So wait until the guard uh, starts walking back and then go to where he was and just keep going under there. Oh, it's so big. Where's mommy? Materials, materials. Head to the right. There's no way to go forward at the minute. You'll have to wait for this priest, guard, whatever the hell he is, nut job, to just um, carry on. You'll have to obviously go behind him. Otherwise, you'll obviously get spotting, and <laughs> that's what we're actually trying to avoid. So once he nips off to the left a little bit, then you can just go around him with no issues. And you can just go under this table here. Now, this is obviously one big advantage that Hugo's got for being so small. He can hide under tables and things. The quality, quality is excellent. I really don't know why that made me laugh so much. Do your best. The life of the Grand Inquisitor depends on the quality of the distillate. So the second that guard walks away, go directly to your left under these set of tables here. And you can either go to the left at this point and try and avoid some bottles, but generally it's easier just to go to the table on the right. There is literally no reason to go to the left and try and make things difficult for yourself. Anyway, again, avoid all the bottles you can see, and you, you'll be alright at this point, the guard ain't paying attention. Just be careful here, there is a guard that's in front of you, just in case. He'll walk off to the right, and then you will be good to go. <laughs> be good to go. That's I think that's the 638th time I've said that again. Uh, climb, climb, climb the stairs. And at the minute, we should be good for... In fact, no, we're not good for two seconds, because there's nothing to your right. But there are a bunch of guards to your left. So, this guard's busy. Which, again, is happy days for us, so we can sneak on by him, avoid the bottles on the right again, because if you knock them over, you get caught. 20 barrels. We have almost reached the objective. I hope so the only guy we're trying to avoid is the guard at the very end, but as soon as you see him duck down, this guy on the right will not bother you, or he won't see, or he won't hear you. Either or, it comes in mega handy bucks for us. And... I wonder if people, I wonder if you guys and gals will be able to tell this is my um, midnight voice, where I'm not as excitable and shouty and potentially annoying. I wonder which, I wonder which bit of commentary you guys prefer. Everyone's asleep, so I'm trying not to be so rah. Anyway, wait for the guard on the left there to start uh, going away, and you can follow him, but obviously. Avoid the bottle and go directly to the left. That That is pretty much obvious there. Go around uh, to the right and then we'll be going up the stairs here. Well done. Nobody saw me. Like Melly. Now then, at this point, what you're supposed to do is, uh, you see the thing in the middle of the room there? That actually shoots out steam, and you're supposed to wait for that steam to shoot out so you can sneak by the guard without being seen, but I didn't have the patience for that, so what I did was hide behind this little bit of wall and then just completely walk on by. Now, he will see you, but as long as you keep walking and keep walking towards where I am now, he won't, he'll go and investigate... Even though he did see you, but he won't actually 
do anything about it, even though he just literally seen you. So, yeah, I mean, my advice is to actually wait for the steam to shoot out. Um, but it was taking a while for me, so that's why I just did it the very impatient way. So, bad habits all around. The Grand Inquisitor is very busy. Busy? I am the Archbishop. I represent the Pope. Monseigneur, the mission of the Grand Inquisitor is sacred. His mission was never... <coughs> by the we... Sh Shut up. Shut up. And you, Mommy, where are you? On this infernal... Now with headaches like that, you can sort of see what people with migraines feel like. So another few rooms for us then to do a bit of stealthy stealth stealth in. So wait for this guard to just go over there. He should do anyway. You just have to wait under this table. Because where he is right now, that is the cupboard we are heading towards. So as soon as he walks away, move your ass there. The text clearly mentions the ascension of a child during the Great Plague of Justinian. I knew it. The Roman nobles isolated him from the people and worshipped him in secret. Maybe an ancestor of Hugo de Rune. Continue. They're talking about me. And as soon as he stops talking crap on the right, go directly to your left and through this table under here and through the big doors. And go straight left once again behind this sort of altar, whatever it is with the big book on. And once again, he's going to talk some more crap that we don't care about. I suppose they care about, but we don't care about. So once he goes off to the right, go to the left. Uh, under the table, sorry. Don't go <laughs> to where the guard is, because obviously you'll get caught again. Go towards the end of this table, and we'll have to wait until the guard comes back and then nips off again. Chaos. But how can we be sure? Okay, now we are good to just sprint onto the next room. I say sprint, keep stealth walking. <laughs> Hide underneath this table for just a moment. You're going to see some... Um, basically priest crotch in your face. Insert many priest sex children jokes right here. Or I'll just leave that to you guys and the creators of South Park. Right then, so wait for that disgustingness to get out of your face. Thanks for that, you freak. And then, uh, sorry, when he goes to the right, hide in this uh, little cupboard here. Only for about 20 to 30 seconds or so. And as soon as he goes back, wait till he turns to the right and just see in the little gap there. And then head through the table where he was standing at. Through the cupboard and then you are free as a bird. Just go to the left right here through the open door and we are now free to run, which is all good. And now we'll be coming up to an achievement, which may seem quite tricky, but it's actually not. Basically, what we'll need to be doing is following Nor uh, Nord, Lord Prickulus, I call him instead of Nicholas. That's real funny, right? Uh, we'll basically be following him, but we've got to beat him to a room. And on the way, we'll be grabbing a flower, but there's a certain section where you have to be quite quick about it, but again, I'll just come up to that in a moment. Grand Inquisitor, the Archbishop has arrived. Perfect. He's scary, but I have to follow. So for this point then, it's all good. It's literally just um, about staying behind him, uh, not getting spotted by the other guards. So if you just follow the path that I take for now, and I'll come back to the point where we need to be rather quick. It's basically when you head to the outside. Brother, he is unique. He might understand. Unique? I'm unique. At ease. Ad ignem. Ad lucem, sir. So, you saw the Grand Inquisitor? Yes. The blood of the carrier flows through his veins. The conjuration will take place. Splendid. 
The end of the plague is nigh. Indeed. But do not lower your guard. Okay, so this is the point coming up then. So what we need to do, uh, Lord, uh, Lord Prickless here is going to go off and talk to a guard. What we are going to do is get another collectible flower and then go ahead and beat him to the room. So as soon as he nips off to the right then, now we can actually stand up. Don't sprint, but just get up and uh, sort of lightly jog. There are a couple of guards posted about, but if anyone starts to spot you, just obviously um, start crawling. So it should be good. Head on to the uh, outside, down to the right here. And now the next gap in the right, again, if you start spotting you, just quickly nip on directly to your right, and this is where the collectible is. So it can be sort of, it's not too bad, it can be difficult if you're sort of too slow, especially with Hugo taking his freaking time picking these things. So there we go, the flowers we're on now are 11 out of 13, so we've only got two more to go, and now we'll have to be quick again. So, head back round the way, and now, head to the right, just behind these walls, just sprint. Just don't worry about Nicholas now, he's right there, and he'll sort of hear you, but he ain't going to do nothing about it. And that is where you get the achievement then. In this next room, hide under the table and wait for him to come, and you will get the achievement. So... Hopefully that wasn't too bad, um, you've got to sort of be, you, you can't just be sneaking around all the way, all the way, otherwise you won't be able to get the collectible, and then the achievement, so you've got to be quite quick with that, but hopefully that wasn't too bad, then you guys and gals would have got that as well. Also, sometimes my explanation and direction of things can be a little bit, well, just a little bit useless, so uh, hopefully that wasn't too bad for you either. If not, obviously you can just mute it and then follow exactly what I do, so at least you've got a choice. I was told that the carrier of the macula is here. Is that right? The child turned himself in this morning. Apparently there was a disagreement with his sister. Ah, he's still a kid, it's true. Hard to believe he's gonna save us all. If everything goes to plan. We'll make sure it does. If she sees her son with a knife to his throat. So obviously you can't follow Nicholas in here, so go into the room on the right, and there's a little gap for us to crawl underneath. So Lord Nicholas go past. That the rune woman is gonna suffer, I'd say. Huh. Serves her right. Uh, such an educated woman. She should have joined our side. Oh no, she's way too. So you don't have to do anything with these guards, they'll just uh, go off to the right, so now. We can go to the left, go to the right, and obviously wait behind a box now, because that's where Nicholas is. Please, at least let me die out there. You wouldn't like it out there, believe me. At least here your carcass can still be of value to our alchemists. Think yourself lucky. Oh, you bastard. Doing here? Shh, I have to find my mommy. The alchemist. Oh, you should have. Magistrate, he's talking to mommy. For the last time, will you answer my questions? Or perhaps. You are still upset about what happened to your husband. Right. Our torturer will take care of you. You'll soon have your voice back. Mark my words. Oh no, he's coming back. Hi. 
So just hide behind this box so Lord Prickless can nip off. And then, oh my god, spoiler of all spoilers coming up. Did you expect this? Oh! Mummy? Uh-uh. Mummy? Hugo? But, but... So they... Amicia said you were dead, but you're not. Be very careful. Come back. I mean, please, be more excited to uh, see me, you know. Hmm. Although then again, you've probably been beaten and tortured for a while, so your head's a bit fuzzy, I expect. I'll, I'll give you that one. Let's just wait be here then for the two guys to finish yapping for just a sec. Don't you enjoy it? Just do your job. The captain of the guard doesn't appreciate improvisation, and neither do I. Uh, yes, of course. Let me know when you're ready. I have to make them leave. Right. And don't go following the guard, just... Nip directly behind you and climb up this ladder. We'll be doing a bit of uh, tight roping. Uh, is that what it's called in gymnastics? Tight, tight roping. Rope tighten. Tight roping. Yeah, I'm sure it's tight roping. Um, but we're not actually doing that. We're just walking on <laughs> wooden beams. <laughs> what am I on about again? Just walking on wooden beams. Just head over to the other side. There's only one pathway to, to go really here. Up to the right. And then we'll be going back down the ladder. Don't worry about the guard, he's not going to come in. You can wait till he goes past, but just hit and spam the white button to release the rats. We're going to be, uh, f in just a moment, we're going to be finding out exactly what it is about Hugo's illness that the Inquisition exactly wants. And it's something I actually didn't expect, so I was quite happy with this. But anyway, off the guard's fudge, we're good to go, but obviously we still can't get through the rats at the minute, so we've got to do a bit of light manipulation. Let's go to the room on the left, all the way down, and we'll be having a go with this torch here. Oh, it works. Shoo. So make a pathway for yourself then, and now with the next torch, just hit that all the way over to the left, just so you can see where that sort of chain is hanging down, and that is where the key is, so let's grab that. Oofed. I mean, they do look pretty painful, those headaches, mind. That's why Amicia, being a bitch early on, was not tolerated and not accepted. Anyway, grab the next light, put it back to the uh, same pathway we were earlier, because we'll be heading back to the first torch. And then with that, just put it over to the left, and that it will be our exit. And now we will find out just what Hugo is capable of. Oh, right, after, obviously, I'm um, putting this torch to the right a bit, sorry. I did it. I See? I made my shave. Mummy, I did it. <gasps> well done. Come quickly. It's all right. Shh. No one will hurt you now. My hero. How do you feel? Hugo, can you hear them? <laughs> yes. They all have the same voice. The one that makes my head hurt. Don't try to ignore it. Embrace it completely. Don't be afraid. Yes. So holy crap then, so Hugo didn't have an illness at all, he had a gift. And that is the gift of controlling friggin' rats. I mean, the thresholds could have come in a lot earlier and helped us out a little bit earlier, but there we go. So all you have to do then is, uh, as it said, hold the left trigger to aim and then hold the right trigger to sort of push them away and control them. And you'll be able to see when you are in control of the rats because you'll see like a blue sort of light when they're not on the rats when you're just sort of free aiming and then like an orange light when you've actually got control of the rats so fair play not a bad gift to have i don't particularly have a gift um just a gift of making people laugh through stupidity to be honest but hey you know it's uh it works on some people i suppose but this is going to come in mega mega handy 
like I said, could have come in mega handy earlier, but, you know, we won't judge. We're, we're all good. We're all pals. So, that's my disease. You're not sick, Hugo. It's a, it's a gift. I'll explain later. Ah, a gift. You found her. So, obviously, as it is, uh, there's no way past that guard, so, oh, that's just handy where we've got a room full of rats that we can push in. Of course, don't actually let go of the rats until you get into some light, because they still, funnily enough, being rats, they still want to eat you, no matter how good you control them. So, just back away, you can't really sort of turn the camera or anything, so you'll just have to, you know, you just know when you're in light anyway, again, unless you're blind. In the next room, push the rats, just, I mean, obviously Hugo is only small, so we can't really push them too far away. Oh, these roads are in a terrible state. How are we going to deliver this? All we need now is to lose one of these cages. So in this room then, grab the torch, turn it to the right, not too far, just enough for the, uh rats to get down there and chase this guy off and that's another good thing about it is that you can actually just target the enemy and the rats will chase after them rather than you know trying to do like a puzzle thing where you're getting the rats up and down and all around and these rats right here they're gonna come well they're gonna be quite the formidable foe in the final chapter of the game but again we'll, we'll come to that when we get to it so push these rats out of the way, yeah, very, um, it's really interesting actually, they, the, the makers of this game could have gone literally anywhere with this, and really, the story on it is absolutely fantastic, they went down a really well written route, so I really commend all the guys and gals who made this game. to explain. But Amicia doesn't know. No. I'll explain later. We had an argument, Mommy. It's all right, my darling. Let's get out of here, huh? Right, so at this point then, there are going to be a ton of guards that come from everywhere, so you'll need to act quite quickly. As soon as you see the icons that appear above the enemy's heads, quickly turn to them and quickly get your rats onto them. Like I said, with the left trigger, you can just target the enemies and that will happen a lot quicker. Rather than um, grabbing the rats and chucking them there, so there'll be a few guards on this point, so try and be aware. That's enough. 
so that was the end of chapter 14 hopefully that wasn't too painful it wasn't too bad i think i only died once on that point because once again epic stupidity on my part so it's not too bad uh, amicia she's awake stay calm amicia you go arthur and i tracked you down but you disappeared for three days amicia you almost died we were so worried hugo Come on, stop dreaming. The others must be up. The rats will be coming. I want it. Come on. Please open, will you? So a whole month without Hugo and about not knowing what happened to him. That can be actually quite painful, so I feel for her on that. Um, so we're back at the castle now. This is uh, only about 20 minutes long. It's not too bad a chapter, really. Uh few items again to collect and again if you need in the ammo if you still haven't got the ammo achievement now we're starting to get into the time where you should really be thinking about grabbing that we've only got two chapters left now look still frozen oh. uh, yes it's a tough winter this year anyway how was your nap feeling better a little did you dream of him again yes i'm going to prepare a special brew of saint john's wort for you that's all right, Lucas. I don't need it. I miss him, that's all. I have to accept that he won't be coming back. Amicia, you're going to be all right? <sighs> I'm going to go see the others. Oh, can you tell Melly about the chest? <sighs> Melly's going to say something like, you should just pierce on it. But it's way too cold for that. Yeah. Very nice. Thank you for the chat, Lucas. Uh, go through the door, get, get some fabric on the left right there. And then you can have a look at the hanging brush. This is where we find the flower with Hugo earlier on. So we, uh, we're in, we couldn't actually get through that door earlier on. So now this bit will all seem a bit too familiar to you from chapter eight. Yep, yeah, our home. But of course it's all been done up, so it's looking goddamn beautiful. Well, for a bit anyway. Let's go to the room on the right then, and we will get another flower collectible. Hugo should have found you. So head out of this room then, go back to the right. You see all the gifts there on the right hand side table. If you want to have a look at that, that's up to you. But go through the door, and there is a piece of leather on the right. Go down, and we'll be heading back down to where the tomb was a little bit earlier on to find a little bit of mellow smello in just a bit. But obviously, if you go to the room where Lucas was earlier on first, we'll be grabbing a few other items. And again, even if you've got everything upgraded, it's just for those who haven't upgraded everything yet, and this will be a just-in-case thing. I'll keep um, trying to find all the items that I possibly can so nobody misses out, because I'm nice like that. Actually, ignore me, Melly's not down here, uh, everyone's actually outside. In fact, she's arguing with Arthur right now, that's a pretty pointless spoiler. But if you go down to where the tomb was earlier, it'll be sort of done out, uh, there'll be a bit of fabric on this bench here, and you can actually have a little chat if you wanted to. Uh, that'll basically be just um, Amicia wanting Hugo's safe return praying, so very nice, very nice. But what we'll do then, we'll just head back up, we're going to head up onto the workbench, grab a few more items that we can before we head outside. The soup. Whose turn was it? Melly? <laughs> no, it doesn't smell peppery enough. Huh. 
This should make things a little easier. Roderick still hasn't been able to work because of the snow. And I want to stay here. Oh, really? And what if... What if, what if, what if you stopped living like an animal? Oh, um, hello, Amicia. Hey, sorry, am I interrupting? Uh, no. Arthur was just saying he wants to leave. Again. Come on! I want us to stay alive, that's all. Like we've always done. Listen, it'll be dark soon and we have to light the fires. Can you help me, Arthur? Go on. Try not to annoy the hell out of her. Um, why would I do that? Because you're a pain in the ass, that's why. Oh, Lucas needs help with his chest. Yeah, right. He just wants to see me, that's all. <laughs> Right, you don't actually have to follow Melly up the stairs. She's just going to go and talk to Lucas about stuff. Uh, what we need to do is just stay with Arthur and sort us out down there. So, sorry, this was just a bit of wasted time. But always interesting for a nice conversation. And a nice extra two minutes chill. And what about my fingers? What might be good for them? Melly, is everything all right? I mean, with Arthur? It's fine. He always thinks we're going to get captured. He worries too much. And how about you? You alright? Trying to keep myself busy. Talking of which, it's almost time to go and light the fires. Take it easy, yeah? Yes, mother. Come on, let's get the braziers in place, starting with... That one. Yes, I know. We've been doing the same routine for weeks, Amicia. I'm sorry, it just helps me sleep better knowing the pit is secure at night. <clears throat> so, um, what's up? I feel old. You look pretty good for an old person. <laughs> Thank you. Listen, I don't know your brother that well, but... He would like you. Really? You saved us. You were captured, you managed to escape. You're like a hero from a book or something. Uh, a hero? But he would have been sad to see you leave. Ah. Uh. There you go. Ah! Stupid piece of crap! <laughs> you really like your Ignifer, don't you? I have a thing for fire. All right, if you say so. as we stay put. The Roderick method. Random, but effective. Haha! <laughs> Try it! I intend to. Right. You take that one, I'll look after the other Brazier. Whenever you're ready. Hey, are you alright? Uh, yes. Why? That was pretty... Uh, intense. Oh, the kicking, you mean? My father was like that. I'm just carrying on the tradition now. He's, um... Anyway, how about you? Oh, I'm all right. I miss the kid, too. Hey, you know what? We could always extend the search area. Roderick, there's no point. It's been a month already. Let's... Let's just get the pit ready for the night. All right. Arthur wants you all to himself, is that it? Just shut it, will you? Dearest Amicia, allow this forlorn brigand to steal thy heart. 
Go take a bath. You stink. <laughs> How sweet a minstrel thou makest. Let's go and make sure the brazy is right up to the edge. Nobody's going to be able to climb so then we're going to get a little bit of a surprise right now. What you'd think we'd be doing is just doing, you know, f fortifying the defences and things. But, I mean, these rats are getting way, way worse. So, surprise coming up. Perhaps Melly isn't like you either. All right, I get it. You handle the brazier on the ramparts. I'll handle these ones. that we have something here and we need people like you to keep it safe let me think about it So again, haven't really said much in this chapter, there's really uh, not a lot of need. We've been just grabbing a bunch of items, so, you know, again, if there are any um, upgrades to your equipment or your sling that you need, or if there's any ammo that you feel like crafting, you know, that's just what I've been doing, just walking around. So hopefully you've been just following the video, having a nice time, and enjoying your life. Something wrong? That's never Here they are, the rats of life, the rats of life. That's not really a theme tune. So now we do have some mega problems, and remember we've still got the flying tornado rats to deal with just as well as these regular rats but i mean they are literally everywhere in the courtyard so what we're doing is what we were doing in the chapter uh in chapter seven but <laughs> with a lot more ignifer being used so these are uh, flying tornado rats as well they will obviously try and keep putting the light out so you've got to be careful and you've got to hit them and kill them as soon as they appear like I said, you still have about 5 to 10 seconds before they actually get to you, so it's not a massive, massive rush, but obviously better to just get out of the way, do it ASAP. There'll be another bunch that come out on the right, and they'll start sort of flying out of everywhere, so just obviously keep a lookout on the ground where they burst out of. Or I'll die here. Amicia, I'll get a brazier your way. Try to reach it. All right, I'm counting on you.
Again, just thought I'd leave you sort of concentrate there. I know they were flying out of bloody everywhere and you'd have to craft a whole load of ignifer for them. So, um, yeah, any sort of intense fight scenes, I'd rather not have to talk and distract you over it. Because, once again, I'm a nice guy like that. But uh, be pushing the brazier. Don't push it all the way to the end, though. There's a gap in the wall, as you can see, just on your right. So push it to there. That's where Arthur will come down and help us out. Chuck some Mignifer over with that epic Amicia Darun aim that you've acquired since the very beginning. And Arthur Leclerc will come over and help us out. Now we've got to help him out again by slinging these goddamn flying tornado rats or these footers. Whatever de uh, deviation you want to... <laughs> whatever you want to call them. And then just push it back to the end for him. Once Arthur's up, then just turn around and run to the very end to get a cutscene where all the rest of the guys and gals are going to start panicking and we'll just be following them for a little bit. Come on, let's go join the others inside. I hope they're all right. If the rats have got in... Amicia, they're not kids anymore. They're used to it. I don't want to take any more risks. I'm not going to lose anyone... Are you all right? No. What the hell is going on? Uh, Hugo! It was Mary, Hugo! What are you it was Hugo! Door? Amicia! What, what have Get they done to the him? The rats! He, he, he was... He can control them. Uh, yes, with the magic. There you go. Where does that go? Don't panic. The castle was designed for this kind of situation. Your castle's falling apart. The rats are getting through the defenses like a hot knife through butter. Listen, I have to talk to Hugo. I can... You're bonkers. We have to get out of here. Demetia, he's right. Go through. No, no. Get to work. Hugo, Hugo. Kill her, or I will kill your mother in front of you. Hugo, it's. Kill her, child. Maybe Vitalis will keep you by his side. Hugo. So this is where Hugo's been hiding for uh, the last month then. So Vitalis has been making him basically his protege. And he is looking all pissed off at Amicia for lying to him about his mum being still alive. And of course Lord Prickless being a prick that he is. Yeah. So we're going to have to fight him now. Just keep walking backwards. You don't have to. You just press back on the um, on the left thumbstick. But we will have to fight him now. Vitalis will soon be the sole carrier of the Machina. What? No! Hugo is the only carrier! What? Blood now flows through the veins of the Grand Inquisitor! Arthur, no! Die! Ah! You bloody hell! We got that bastard! So be in video games, that last cutscene didn't end all exactly happy. But what we need to be doing then is extinguishing all the fires that we can. So you'll need to make sure that the extinguish is uh, topped up and all ready for you. And now we've got the rat power, we've got Hugo by our side. So just h keep hiding behind these crates where you can. Extinguish all the fires so that he doesn't get it up on his sword. I'm just grabbing items because I can there. And then as soon as he's not in the light, get the rats to be able to go onto him. Now, the first wave is a lot easier than that, but he's going to start putting fire on his sword. So we need to sort of, yeah. Now we need to walk around and, sorry, I died very stupidly here, but I just went to the right of where I was last time, just behind this sort of castle wall. So, again, that's all you got to do. Keep extinguishing all the fires. If he does catch you just sprint into sprint to the other end and then hide behind um just hide behind 
any bits of wood and any bits of castle. And then, as soon as you see him, sadly this didn't work for me here because I didn't extinguish the other fire. And he bollocks those rats up. So that's what we, so that's all we're doing then, just ex extinguishing the fire so we can't. <laughs> yeah, so extinguish all the fires that you can. Obviously, he can't. He hasn't got no uh, potions or superpowers or anything. Extinguish the flame on him and then quickly go to the rat power and Yeah, if he gets too close though, like I said, Amicia and Hugo die with one hit, so So again, it's just um, I could have made this a lot easier by just running around and extinguishing out all the fires first, which I don't know why I didn't But um, and again, I could have just <laughs> Again could have just easily ran away to the other end waited until he couldn't see me and then done it, but there we go. Well, goddamn finally. So this is the third and final wave then. Like I said, hopefully you are getting through this at an easier time than I did. But he is now seriously on fire. And I mean seriously on fire. So just go ahead, uh, run to the right. You know, again, he's going to be quicker than you. But hopefully, you know, craft as many extinguish as you can. You should have enough items by now to, you know, basically have an unlimited amount. So you should be good to go. Now we've got to go and extinguish all the fires anyway. Again, did this work for me right here? No, it didn't because the rats took the freaking time. And now he's back on fire again. So, yeah, that would be my best advice. Just extinguish all the fires first. I tried to go about it a completely different way and clearly it took a long time and it didn't work as well for me. So, um, yeah, extinguish all the fires. Extinguish Lord Prickless. And then get the rats onto him. That you'll get it a lot easier than I did here. Make it. Right then, okay, so understandably, uh, Melly is extremely pissed off if you watched the last couple of cutscenes or the last one before the Lord Nicholas fight, you'd understand why she's pissed off and why there are only five of us now. But before you follow Lucas and Melly, go down to the left for a couple more items here. And now we are on to the final chapter of the game. Now this chapter is only about half an hour long, but it does come with a pretty extraordinary ending boss fight. Um, one that was quite enjoyable and definitely quite different in terms of it rather just being you versus one on one either that or a quick time event or you know this is definitely one of the most different boss fights I've um, 
played in a while, but I really, really enjoyed it. But first, we've got quite a lot of enemies to get through and quite a lot of sections to do first. So we'll follow. Uh, if you want to, go ahead and... If you've got enough items, craft the last bit of alchemy there. Again, it's not for an achievement or anything, but, you know, might as well if you are a completion completionist. We don't have a choice. We have to try the great door. But watch out. Oh, Melly, wait! Is she angry with me? <laughs> no. She's just angry full stop. But... Give her a little time, Hugo. Watch out. Hey, do you think it's already started? Ah, oh, Melly, you can't really blame a five-year-old boy, can you? It's not his fault. So what we'll do in them, we've got big, hard, mad, fadger, rog, rog, bleh, Roderick on our side. I forgot his name then. I was going to call him Rodri. Roderick on our side, so, you know, any guns that he can sneak up on and absolutely destroy him with one fatal neck blow, we're going to use him. But otherwise, it's just creeping forward a minute. There's going to be guards that are sort of popping out of... Well, sort of everywhere, but we'll just be keeping on looking at items. That's where we need to go, up into that big tower up there. So head to the right just before you carry on, next to the door with the uh, painted white X on it. See this guard here? This is where Roderick... I'm just going to call him Rodri again then. So Roderick's going to snap his neck and then guess what's directly in front of us? Our fifth and final alchemist cart. So the achievement then should unlock right here for you. So with that then, now we can officially finally move on from this little area so that's no more alchemist carts we've got to worry about and again i think there's only um three more collectibles we've got to get now as well so of course like we've been doing throughout the entire game we're still getting items collecting items on the way and now we are going to be using lucas's mega power extinguish this and the rats will come lucas uh, not even Lucas, Hugo, sorry. With Hugo, you have to control the rats straight away, and that'll get rid of the guards. Lovely. So before we move on then, just head to the left right here. You're going to find some, another item. I think it's Saltpeter, Salpeter. And then again, before we move on, head to the right now. Uh, down the right here, you're going to find a whole bunch of items for us to pick up once again. But more importantly, our 25th. Curiosity collectible, right by this dead guard. If I were you. Why? The flagellants whipped themselves with it. It's probably got bits of flesh. Oh, I see. Ugh. Right, lovely. So that's one more curiosity, one more flower yet to get, and we are good with that. Now we can actually walk straight through the rats, which is even handier for us now. It's now getting to that point where we will not get eaten at all. Now, this bit can be quite difficult. There's a few uh, sort of guards about. Make sure to extinguish that first so you can get some rats out of the ground to help us again. Obviously, you don't have to worry about them now. But as you see, there's an archer just at the top of the screen there. So we need to be able to, for one, get the rats down. There's a rat's... Uh, there's a few rats in a cage just over there. We've got to sling that down without the archer and without the other guards seeing us. So you'll have to wait and just be very patient at this point just for a moment. So there you go. As soon as the archer starts walking the other way, then now fling it down. So sling this guard in the head. He should be good to go for a moment. And then what we'll do, if you can, 
you should have enough then f to get rid of this guy's lantern and get rid of him. So hopefully for the first time that went horribly, horribly wrong and I died a horrible, horrible death as I have done a few times in this game. But you still got to keep an eye out for that archer because you can't see from a mile away. I suppose being an archer, you've got to have a keen eye for things. There is a guard here, but like I said, don't go and hit him just yet because of the archer up above. So just wait until he's done. Wait until he sort of walks over. Again, you've got to be very careful. Sling his helmet off and then just smash him square in the noggin once again. And with that, then, you should be good to just kill the archer from this point since there's nobody else about. So there we go. Like I said, first time I went through it, I messed up. But it's all about timing and patience with that one. As I suppose you should have been used to with the game by now. There's one more guard just down this alleyway here before we start looking for items and things like that. So yeah, get your extinguisher out and then sling it towards his uh, torch. He hasn't got a lantern, he's got a torch. He will actually, um, before we can get the rats onto him, he's going to get some more fire on his torch. So again, just sling it towards him and then quick as he can, change it on the selection screen to the rats and then end his life. Yum, yum. And with that big guy's demise, now we can go item hunting for free with no worries about any guards trying to kill us. Especially with rats. So again, just follow where I go if you're looking for any more items. Um, there's no other collectibles in this area, so this is just purely item hunting. So if you don't need any, you can sort of, you know, skip the video for a little bit and just move on where I do. So that's all the exploring done in this area then, so we never ever have to come back ever again. Which is fine with us. So move on forward underneath this burning bit of wood here. And have we got enough? Yes, so we'll be doing another double kill right here. Get Roderick onto the guard with the armor. Get your sling out, smash guard on left. Job done. And if you ever need more proof of Roderick being a bad, bad mofo, and a strong ass mud up. Well, this this part is just. I mean, watch this for a freaking deadlift now. The deadlift king, Roderick from France. Look at that. And apparently, they're supposed to be what? Well, I'll have to Google and see how much those heavy steel gates did actually um, way back then. But right, I'm showing you this death bit because. I, like I said, where we got then, I just died basically straight away by an archer, and this is where it put me back, so, to the right of where you started by this wooden cart, get your extinguisher out and extinguish the torch on the right hand side there, that will help us, because there will be a guard coming over, I forgot to do that the first time, that's why I died, and messed that one up big time, smash that extinguish on the torch over there, get the rats out, and Odorus, this guy's helmet. Lovely jubbly. So again, this is another area with quite a few guards in it, so it's all about patience and being careful. There's probably a better way than I went about doing it, but just Get your sling over to this shield guy, um, and then just basically rat them all to death. They're all just going to be ratted to death anyway, so I think once they see you and start coming over, just get all your rats on. They will die. Like I said, there might be an easier and a better way to do this, but 
that's just the best way I found instead of trying to sneak around everywhere. Three kills with one rat stone. Just nice and easier that way, isn't it? And there's an archer on the steps. So he will see you, but you'll have your sling nice and ready. From this, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, from that pot, from where we were to where he is, might be a bit tricky, but you know, she's not bad. She's not a bad aim. She should be in the uh, Olympics. So they look like guards there, but that's actually just Melly, 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 and Lucas. So again, this area there is a collectible in this area actually, but for the moment we will just be item hunting. The one that's on fire. We can't go back. Go. We'll meet you on the other side. Be careful. Come on. The house. So we'll need to get our rocks and our extinguish ready because basically Roderick will try and get into this burning building and a bunch of guards will start swarming. About five or six, I think, will start swarming. So the first one we can kill here with no problem, but there'll be a couple of guards where the only way you can get rid of them is with the extinguishing out their torches. So as you can see here, I'm trying to throw rocks at them and it's a bit pointless, but get your extinguish out, get rid of the torch, and then the rats will have them. So if they got torches, if they got torches or lanterns, it's probably easier just to, um, just to extinguish it and the, let the rats do their dirty work. So now we're coming up to another collectible then. So glide through the rats where the guards came open through the uh, through the locked door straight in front of you. That will be we'll just grab a, f a couple of rocks just for later on. But where the guards came from the locked door in front of you, that is where we will find our last and final flower. So that'll be yet another achievement just on the left down here. So hopefully again, if you've been following the video, this is where you should get the achievement. But if you did somehow miss one, like I said earlier, chapter select will be your friend. They'll tell you which ones you're missing and you can just go through the video for reference again. That's right, it's your flower. Thank you, Hugo. Let's go. So now we're actually good to go. We've got everything we can in this area. If, again, if you need more ammo, it's always worth now just pumping your ammo up to full on absolutely everything, as we will need uh, quite a lot of sort of different ones now as we as we are coming towards the end of the game so you got a little bit to do mind before we get to the final boss but Roderick would have had the door open by now and now this is all just about getting through this burning building uh, grabbing any collectibles you can on your way but it's just following the same path and extinguishing some of the flames that are in the way Beat 
captain of the Inquisition. <coughs> You're a tough guy. Tougher than I am. <coughs> really? I never lie. <coughs> As my father used to say, <laughs> it's fire that forges the blacksmith. This must be the exit. <laughs> So that was a nice little run through for us there. No other guards apart from the one, so Roderick can go and snap this guy's neck. Oh, oh, oh yeah, you can feel that. You can, f I can actually feel the pain from that. My, my whole nutsacks winced at that, to be honest. Um, let's uh, again grab a few items here. There's going to be a few guards just coming up, and it's. They're going to be ones that you're going to have to kill quite quickly. So, again, Rod, there'll be three guards. Roderick will kill one, and you have to quickly kill the other two. What was probably best there was Roger killing the guard on the left and then me getting the two guards on the right, which I don't know why I did that. But anyway, see, we all got through it with no problems. Everyone's happy. Right. We need to get there, but we can't just go through there because as you've seen to the other two guys running, they got archered right up the butthole. And nobody likes, a, <laughs> nobody likes an hour up the butthole, I tell you that. Not that I've ever had it done. Mine just... You know, just saying. I don't assume it would be nice. So there's a workbench there if you need it. If you've got items spare, you can get rid of this alchemy one. Again, it doesn't uh, conjure up an achievement or anything, but for the 100% completionists out there, such as myself, that was actually very satisfying. So we will be coming up to an achievement now as well. So don't bother pushing this cart yet because that will move the story on. Do not press Y there. There's a little alleyway just to the left of this burning bits of stuff and all these plague infested rat holes. Rat walls, I mean. And if you just skip to the right again, there's another item. But there is a chain link fence which we will need to burst open. And with that, what we can do then is basically just go where that chain link fence was. So go right around the way and up there and this will basically be where this is Roderick's house, so he will be pretty pissed and pretty upset with this. But we do unlock an achievement for it, so, you know, it's sort of a lose-win situation there. What's going on? Where are you going? Let's go. It can't be. Roderick. There's nothing left. Did they burn your house down? It was my father's forge, where I grew up. It's where... I know how you feel. But you're still alive, and your roots, they can never take that away from you. You're right. I know who I am. Come on. We have to save your mother. You'll see. Mummy's lovely. We'll go together. And we'll find another castle. Fine by me. So with that done, all items found, all achievement, missable achievements found in this area, now we can go ahead and push the cart, and, well, let's just say, let's just say this is an angry bit, this is a bit that pissed me off, rather, and I'll explain why in just a touch. Stay back with your brother, I'm pushing. Roderick, let me help. I'll be fine, if you want to help, keep an eye out for carts. All right. All right, let's do this. Don't worry about me, kid. 
So obviously what we're doing then is, while Roderick is pushing that, we will be avoiding the archers. Um, but there's going to be another bunch of guards, about six, that's going to come for us as well. So obviously take your time. Don't go too far in front of the uh, in front of the cart because they will get you. You have to sort of stay behind this back wheel right here. Now, as you see directly in front of you, there are some guards that are already on their way. So get your sling out, smash it square in the head. I Got lucky with that one, you should really have gone down a bit down these steps first before hitting him with the guard, um, hitting him with your sling. So there you go. Always keep your sling ready at this point. No more guards will come through this point. So go ahead and just grab a couple of items here. Get back up to the other side, they'll start coming behind you now. Well Roderick still very manly pushes his way through, so keep your sling handy, keep your sling ready. There you go. Even if you miss, it's still going to take a few seconds for him to get this. So don't panic like I just did there. So bang that one. But obviously you need to keep an eye on the cart. Because, uh, you, you know, just in case I got lucky again with that one. So that is all we need to do at this point. But um, now this is the part that really was probably the only biggest negative part. I mean, Archer dying was obviously very sad. But um, this, this, I... I actually hated this. This <laughs> this made me real sad, actually. And I'm absolutely gutted. Roderick was one hell of a guy. Come on. Come on. Oh my god, Roderick! I'm a bit better. I'm right behind you. All right. So yeah, hopefully, you know, you've been watching the cutscenes and everything, but um, yeah, Roderick dying, definitely the saddest part of this game. You know, even though Amicia's uh, family got slain and all her friends and Melly's brother dying, uh, you know, but Roderick, man, Roderick. He's resting now. I can't take any more of these bloody rests! But they're going to get us too. Really? How? Like this. How do you... Wow, it's... It's really happening. So Melly's just got amazed with the fact we can walk through rats, but we're not quite done. We need to knock this guy's torch out of his hand and use Lu uh, oh, bloody Lucas, use Hugo to get the rats on him. This is basically more of a tutorial just to show Melly and Lucas what we could do. A few more items in this area then, but we are getting close to Vitalis, the boss man. And like I said, it's a very interesting boss fight. Real, real cleverly done. Uh, but again, not too challenging. Not too challenging. It's not too bad. Really good. Uh, sorry if that last bit of commentary didn't make too much sense. I'm still reeling over the death of Roderick, to be honest. Um, so there's going to be a guard right here, so knock his head in, which would be lovely. And there will be a couple of guards that are on watch, so just be careful. And uh, what, what will be best to do is just ha um, get your extinguisher out and just go over to the other side right here. Now, archers will try and kill you, so... Straight away, as soon as these guys come round, they are going to come round eventually. You can either kill him with use it at knocking his lantern out, knocking his torch out of his hand, or obviously just smash his head in, which would be great. And just take your time now with the archers. Just sneak around the corner and then get them both each. 
But we are coming up to our final curiosity collectible as well. So have a look. Uh, looking for a few items. All we've got is just a few guards left before we enter the main room. I'm trying to make it sound as intimidating and scary as I possibly can, but really it's not too bad. But it will involve our rats against the, if you remember, the white rats from chapter 14 with Hugo and his mother from earlier. And just before you go where Melly and Lucas is then, up the steps, to the right of those steps, there will be the guard with the last final collectible of the game. And here we go then. So that is that. So hopefully, for all the collectibles anyway, you would have got absolutely everything at this point. Again, use chapter select if you've managed to miss one. Like what? Excuse me, but whatever he's up to, we're here to kill him, right? He's about to start. Let's go, Hugo. Mummy's in there. So then you're going to get sort of two waves of guards now before we enter this room. Again, looks very intimidating and scary, but all you got to do is just hide behind th uh, these barrels here. Aim for the two archers, the ones on the right and the left, before you get to the three guards in front. You don't want to be pissing around with archers for too long. Bam, so there's those two. The rats will come out and just get the set the rats free onto them using uh, Hugo. The one guard, like I said, usually, hopefully, it would be where they all get munched together, but the guard will run up towards the light. So, if that's the case, just get out your Adoris. Think actually no, sorry, there is actually no point. You might as well just do it yourself. Eh? Yeah, that's typical. What what a loser. What a loser. Well, if you gotta kill something, you might as well do it yourself. And with these guys, now it's time to get the extinguishers out. So wait, of course, wait until he gets down a lot further down the steps. The rats will have them both, and it is literally as easy as that. So they they weren't too difficult at all. And now we can move on to the Dun dun dun! Main room. I tried to go for all the items, but cutscene. So this is it then, the main boss room. So for the first bit right here, all we're doing is just getting out Hugo's badass mofo in Roderick style type of badassery by getting all the rats out that we can from underground. So this bit's not too bad, another cutscene or two will happen before we get to the main event though. And yet, look at you, walking towards me like lost sheep to their shepherds. That's enough, Miss Alice! You're alone! Give us back our mother, or... Or what, exactly? I still have things to teach the carrier and his friends. <laughs> You're so touching. Thank you. Thank you for your candor. Right, so the first bit before we actually get to Vitalis himself, you will need to extinguish the um, bunch of to uh, the bunch of flaming pots that are already there, and immediately get out your rats because the white flying tornado rats will come towards you. Um, so all you're doing is just sort of pushing the rats back. So you're extinguishing the flame and then pushing the rats back with your rats. 
as soon as you see the flying white rat tornadoes come towards you, of course, move immediately to getting your rats out. <laughs> getting your rat out. That means two things. Okay, immediately go to your left then. So, Vitalis will have two main attacks. One will be this sort of hammer thing. All you've got to do, easily avoidable, but the white rats will stay there. So, if you go back to that area, you'll get munched to death. So, at this point, move over to the right. He'll just try to hammer you again. And that will be good to go. So, the first wave is always easy. As soon as you see the symbol come up, press up on the D-pad. And Lucas will use his flying tornado rat. There will be white flying tornado rats, so if you stay in the middle there, you won't die. And then just sling him in the head and he'll be good to go. So get your extinguish ready now, because the second attack will happen. And all these guys, uh, basically what he'll do is get his rats underground. Not this bit then, you just um, use the hammer. Avoid it just to the right a little bit. And now they start going and you'll start seeing the cracks underground. And you'll know where to just... Don't go too far to the right, though. If you go too far to the right, you basically run out of room. Extinguish this pot right here. And then move to the right. Once again. And then press up on the D-pad once you see the symbol coming up. So again, it's, it's pretty easy. It might take you one or two attempts to sort of get used to because it is quite fast. As soon as he's free, sling him back in the head. And we've got one more wave to do, so... Keep your extinguish out and just get over to the right as far as you can. Just picking up items for no reason, really. So basically, he'll still have the same main two attacks. But of course, when that happens, don't go too far forward. Otherwise, you won't have enough room and you'll get munched and you'll have to do the whole thing again.
So there we go then, that was uh, a Plague Tale Innocence. Now, obviously, don't um, just assume that you haven't been done. we still got the one achievement left to get yet, and that, this is for playing the uh, epilogue, which is always fun. So I won't talk at all through the epilogue, purely because it's just a nice chill after the complete adventure. It's just a very nice chilled out moment. Um, so that's all the 16 main chapters done. Now you'll be in a village, basically you and Hugo. But that's all it took. I mean, to be honest, if that's all it took, I don't know why Amicia couldn't just sling him in the head three times in the first place. Well, I suppose we couldn't get that close with all them roided up trend guards, could we? So anyway, now, let us just enjoy the epilogue. You can have a sort of look around the village. I thought this was sort of a new hometown for Hugo and the family, but... Sadly, he still gets talked about, even though the plague, even though he basically got rid of the plague and all the rats. But there we go. Judgy, judgy, bitchy people. Yes, the nest is still there, but it's empty. Oh, Misia, look! They're going for good. You want to try your hand at shooting? Not me. My sister's really good, right, Misia? All right, let's have a go. Good, good. The rule is simple. You have six stones, six possible shots. Try and shoot as many targets as possible. Are you ready? Ready. Go on, Amicia. Yes. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. Come on, you can have an apple. <laughs> the apple's for you, Hugo. You're my biggest supporter. Oh, thanks. I was hungry. As always. Hey, today we're celebrating the third day without rats. There's a little fair down the street. Go take a look. A fair? A real fair? I've never seen a fair before. Hugo, Lucas is waiting for us. We should be getting back. But it's a fair. Come on. Hugo. <laughs> right. But we can't stay long. We can rebuild the village, but there will still be empty houses. If the bite leaves us in peace, people will come back eventually. Hey, look! Oh, that's the young boy. Oh, no. No, no, you just can't come in. But why? Because you can. That's why. Hey, is there a problem? Look, the problem is a kid and his sister are wanted around here by important people. And we, well, we, we just don't want any trouble here, you understand? I can see very well. Hugo, we have to go. But where? Uh... Come on. Hugo, but the first one to arrive at the cart wins 20 apples. 20 apples? But you'll never beat me. Right, Slug? What? You see. Oh, yeah? Then on three. One, two, three. Hey! <laughs> All right, you won. Yes, 20 apples. We made it, Lucas. Do you have everything? St. John's what? The Hawthorne? All of it. Let's go. Good. Amicia? Yes? Why are they looking at me like that? Melly looked at me the same way. Then she left. Because she doesn't like me anymore. Hugo, she... She had other things to do. <laughs> Is she going to sleep much longer? She has to get her strength back. With the herbs you bought, she'll soon be back on her feet. All right. Hey! 
Hugo. What? Do you think I'm pretty? <laughs> You're ugly. Really ugly. <laughs> ugly? Me? You look like a big fat fly. A fly? Your own sister? Oh, such a slur requires punishment. <laughs> 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 Lucas! Hey! Help! The flies attacking me! So there we have it then, a Plague Tale Innocence completely done and seriously, what a truly remarkably incredible game this was. The stealth was excellent, the puzzles were great without being too challenging but still requiring a good thought process. And the emotion you feel with each character, especially Roderick for me, was so strong. And for a game that is around 15 to 20 hours long, it did not feel like a grind at all. The only two negatives for me were of course Roderick's death. And this ending for me I thought could have been even better, as in seeing everyone settling down in a nice village instead of still searching, Amicia's mum to be awake and have a bit more dialogue at the end. Um, so yeah, very little picky things, although the end I thought was great. Yes, honey? <laughs> <laughs>